Welcome to Friday. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari 2600 and 7800 games. I made it. She did. <laughs> I was able to uh, subtract five minutes yeah. for all those live people watching. Yes. For all the people watching on YouTube, you're like, what are you talking yeah. about? <laughs> five minutes. Five minutes. Um, audio's out of sync. Oh, you know what? I stopped it and restarted it, and I'll put it back in sync right about now yes Focus. i actually fixed it mm. from last episode where it was all out of sync yeah now it's all back into sync it should be but that stupid program never remembers anything you have to manually set it every single time so stupid mm. um so we have three games for you today uh slide boy in maze land a brand new 7800 game from <clears throat> vhzc Lovely. which is uh he made this first on the 2600 and now it's on the 7800 excellent uh and we're going to be playing uh crystal quest featuring bentley bear mm. right here people uh constantly call it bentley bears crystal quest but it's not called that i don't, I don't know why people call it that it says crystal quest featuring bentley bear <laughs> I don't know. Um, so I have it named multiple different things on my hard drive. Fair so, enough. <laughs> but it's, it's on the box itself. It says Crystal Quest in big letters. Featuring Bentley Bear. Featuring Bentley Bear <laughs> in tiny letters. Uh, and then we're going to be playing Edtris 2600, the very first Ooh. homebrew ever made. Oh, cool. Uh, for the 2600. Nice. Homebrew game ever made for the mm. 2600. As part of the High Score Showdown Season 5 that takes place on the Atari Age Facebook group. Facebook, okay. Yes. And I'm glad you made it to another Friday, S. Ramirez. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers for sh supporting the show. Alnifer, Armscar, Coder, Atari Age, Buck Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Catalogs, Charles, Wheeland, uh, Coconut81, Dianoid, Dan C, Fat Beavis, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Johnny WC, Juan Urado, Just Zanny, Carl G, Malchitos, Mark Space Inc., Matthew Lazarus, Metal Atari, Metal Lunar, Mike Soul, Miss Caban, MSK Smith, Mr. Zarna Wood, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strum, who just resubscribed just before the show. Thank you so much. Neo Media, Nintendo Cade, 360, Pack Rap, VG, Quahog, RC70, Rendered Ghost, Repentless VG, Ricardo Pim, Six Sweets, Smitty B, Snicklin, Socrates, Spiceware, S. Ramirez, The D Train, Welshman89, Tiki Dan K, Trek MD. And if you ever want me to stop <sighs> saying these names, let me know. And Carl G just resubscribed. Re but he was already on the list, so. You just added right a few more in. Yeah. That's right. 19 Lovely. months. Currently Ooh. on a 19 month streak. Excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, Crystal Quest was also a classic Mac game. Mm. Totally different, though. Okay, mm. so it was another game named Crystal Quest. Sounds like a game. Like Sounds like it could be multiple games. Well, Crystal Quest sounds like, familiar, like yeah. that title for the Mac. So I yeah. know that game. Um, and you can support the show and get your name on this list beside Tanya mm -hmm. as well. Mm -hmm. If you link your Amazon Prime to your Twitch Prime and click subscribe, and it's free. Um, and make sure you follow and subscribe and like all the things on mm -hmm. Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And somebody's blowing leaves outside. Mm -hmm. um, because on Facebook, I posted some pictures of behind the scenes of Atari Age Day. Mm. I didn't do it on the other things. So. Mm. Oh, sounds like they're going away a little bit. Or not. Might have to close the window for a bit. <laughs> fine. Sounds like a large fan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Well, that's much quieter. Yeah, sounds like my computer's going crazy. Yep. <laughs> Is it fall again? Yeah, apparently. Uh, it's like <laughs> or, spring cleanup. I think I guess. it's more the leaves have been there since the fall. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And now it's dried out, and mm -hmm. they're able to be blown away. Mm -hmm. Um, I have some mail. Hey, do you want to get out of there? Psst, psst, psst. Time for a leaf blowing homebrew game. There you go. There's a good theme. <laughs> you could do that. Yeah. I could see that leaf scattered all over the place. Um, it's very noisy though. I, I really dislike leaf blowers mm. and I find they're so inefficient too. The only good thing about leaf blowers is for people who have injured arms, I guess, and can't yeah. rake properly, yeah. but that is so niche and everybody uses leaf blowers. It takes way longer, I think. 
because it just blows them everywhere. I think it depends There's... on what you're dealing with too, like the kind of leaves and. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it takes any shorter amount of time. It makes a much bigger mess. It seems like they take longer. They're like, oh, uh, and they have to go over it, over it again. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Oh, wind could be used for different difficulty yes. levels. Yes. You could like little kids know. run in and jump in your pile of leaves oh, and spread them back you have back to, around. You have to spray them with the with the, <laughs> the <hose>. leaf blower. <laughs> now I don't know what this is. Um, this is unexpected. So far, it looks okay. Okay. Yeah, this is cute. This is cool. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know what this is. It's from Maggie Vogel. Oh, nice. Um, who's worked on a number of Carl D's games. Nice. Let's read the letter beforehand, and I'll um, sight read it. Oh, okay. Uh, James, I've enjoyed watching Zero Page Homebrew and appreciate the platform you give to homebrew game designers. Nice. Carl and I currently have six consoles hooked up. Wow. That's quite a oh, bit. If I had room, I would definitely have I'd all, all out. <laughs> my consoles hooked up. But I, I thought about doing that when I set when I was setting this up, but mm. it just. The configuration didn't quite work out, so I just kind of have them on a shelf mm. ready to plug in. Um, uh, so I started making cord wraps to wrangle the controllers. Oh, nice. I thought you might appreciate a few. Mm. Again, thank, thanks for the support. Uh, Maggie V. Mm. Well, thank you so much. And she's got pictures of uh, two examples. She's got an Atari 7800 PAL controller and a... I swear I had a joystick very similar to that, but it's like a generic, you know, yeah. handle joystick. Mm. Um, Ooh, so let's excited. take a look at they these. They handmade. They do. Look like they're made of kind of felty. Not mm -hmm. really, no. So let's, uh, oh, here, I'll nice. give you half of them. Okay. Uh, and there's a bunch of designs wow. on each of them. There oh, is cute. Tetronimo design. Is that how you say that? Tetronimo? I don't know. Tetris? <laughs> no, it's not Tetris. Tetris. That's a brand name. No, um, yeah, Tetris one. Yeah. Um, and they've got little clips on them. we got some uh, Pac-Man. There we go. Yeah, so they wrap around the cords. Yep. They keep the cords together. Yep. Very cool. And we've got a um, Donkey Kong yeah, one. Here's, here's one with Donkey Kong right on the front there. Yeah, actually, we should do close-ups of these. You probably can oh, show them close-up. Oh, uh, and another Tetris yeah, one. And yeah, and another Pac-Man. And another Pac-Man. Okay, Pac so one. with some fruit. Oh, these are different parts of it. Okay, so I'll take this one, this one, and this one, and show everybody close up. Mm. Very I mean, you could even clip them together if you wanted a big one. That's true. So if you needed more, so there's the there uh, Tetris one. There's the Pac-Man one. Slap stuff. Oop. There you go. Make a nice bracelet. There you go. Oh, bracelet. <laughs> and there is the Donkey Multifunction. Kong one. So cute. Very nice. Thank oh, you I so like much, them. Thank Maggie. Thank you, Maggie. So there you go. You can have tons I of like bracelets. I like these bracelets. I'm hurting you. <laughs> slap bracelet? Uh, uh, no. no. They're soft material. Yeah. With little snaps on them, so they don't slap. <laughs> Although that would be Very nice cute. fabrics. I really like... Uh, yeah. Um, softness of it yeah. well well no just just the patterns it's nice to find fabrics in in retro styles and they are for, very cool let me get uh yeah example, give an example yeah there you go here's the exact controller she sent a picture of yeah so i do have uh wraps on all my things already yeah but these are these themed. are cuter these are way cuter so i'm gonna take this one off okay and well you, can... you should use these for those like there you go. yeah I don't really wrap those up. Those are always unwrapped. So I think. Um, every day is Atari Age Day. Still says Ew. Atari Age Day? Oh, my Oh, God. it does. <laughs> That's funny. Every day is Atari Age Day. It is. Guess we didn't use that one last time. The Atari Age Day? No, last episode. When it wasn't Atari Age Day. Oh. There we go. So there we go. Oh, you didn't take it off. Yeah. So now it's back to normal. <laughs> <clears throat> um, speaking of Atari Age Day, <laughs> um, uh, we we got a lot of people watching the show. Oh my goodness! And by many metrics, it was the biggest. Um, there you go. Attendance, because it went on for nine hours too. Yeah. Of, no, no, show it. Show it. Oh, okay. 
I'm already on to the next thing. Say, no, you're not. You asked me to wrap it up. <laughs> there we go. Uh, there it is in action. It's awesome. I love that. That looks so good. They could be used to mark wine glasses or beer glasses. That's right. Oh, oh. It's a beer. Oh, not quite. You'll have to attach two of them. Yeah. Yes. Another one. You yes. use two of the Tetris ones, beer maybe. On them, True. As the night goes on, there's a higher and higher chance of that accidentally happening. <laughs> Careful. Careful. It's a laptop right near it. Oh, not quite. That's okay. Oh, uh, it'll slip it off. would make a nice, a nice beer cozy for a different style of glass that. Yeah. Yeah. Like. A little bit yeah, thicker. Yeah. 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 Um, so, <laughs> on Atari H Day, we had a lot of viewers. Um, oh, my God. And by certain numbers, it was the most viewers ever. Yes. It, it did help that it was nine hours long. <laughs> yes. But a lot of people watched it. Oh, yeah. Um, and I got an email um, from somebody, and I can't say anything in it because they have that little thing. Do not disclose anything I say in this really? email because you're not allowed to, blah, blah, blah. It's secret. Um, I was offered to advertise a mobile game on the stream. You know those ads? It's like, yes. Play Dungeon Slasher 5. <laughs> Right now, it's the best game I've ever played. I that... play it. I play it on my tablet <laughs> when I'm in the bathroom. Um, so they they thought uh, we were cool enough to do that. Uh, I won't be doing it. One, because that's annoying. Yeah. And two, it has this show has nothing to do with no, mobile no, games. Yeah, yeah. I, I guess. Uh, it, I in, guess that's unless uh... it's like retro Atari gaming, kind of like <sighs> like the sponsors we have for. Um, yeah, it's a little different. Because they have 2,600 and 7,800 yeah. games on their app. But it's just kind of funny that you hit a, whatever their marker was. Yeah, we just of, went of viewers, over it. You clearly went over it and they sent you, you know, a form ding. letter like, yeah. oh, do you want to you wanna advertise oh, yeah, or mobile? Yeah. So I guess that's a sign you've hit the big time. And I, I didn't answer them. <laughs> Don't know. I didn't answer them. And yeah. they, they just sent a reminder, hey, just check it in. Yeah. Um, and so I, I'll... I don't know if I'll even reply. Yeah. Um, it's it's just not something I'm interested in. Yeah. Retro Atari. <laughs> mind mind explodes. explodes. Yeah. Yes. Um, in two weeks, we're going to be uh, debuting Champ Games' new secret homebrew. Mm -hmm. Not next Friday, but the Friday after, which is very exciting. Uh, there it is. Look at that. So I've set up a thread in the... Um, Zero Page Homebrew Club on the Atari Age forums. Just click on, just click at the top there, um, clubs, and you'll find it. We have the second most people in all the clubs, nice. which is kind of cool. Nice. Um, and I just posted in there uh, about the show, when it is, blah, blah, blah. Uh, Zero Page Homebrew will be debuting Champ Games' brand new secret homebrew for the Atari 2600 on May 21st. What are your guesses for what the new game might be? Because now we're two weeks out. Might as well um, get some people guessing. Um, wait, Atari Age? Well, that makes a lot more sense. How I've already pronounced, I've already pronounced it. Triage. I'm assuming it was <laughs> Atari Age. Atari Age. A triage. A triage. A triage. A triage. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, Interesting. Atari no. It's probably pronounced Atari Age. <laughs> did I say it wrong? Atari <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> That's funny. Atariage. <laughs> Atariage. We'll be saying it Atariage from now on. <laughs> um, so if you want to uh, post your guesses in there, we'll see who's right. Yes. Um, good luck, because I don't think anybody got it right the last the last. Well, we two didn't times. see it coming. We didn't see it coming at all, which is no. was very cool. No. Yeah. Or uh, did? I don't know. John's um, good. John's good at coming up with new games that no one's really expecting. He is. Expecting, he so. finds like somewhat obscure yeah. ones. Not not Galagon. Not completely Galagon obscure. Galagon was very no. non-obscure. Yeah, that's very true. But nobody could believe that he did it, so mm -hmm. they never guessed it. Mm. Um, and then was the other one Zookeeper? Or was it Gorf? Or I can't remember the last secret one. What was it? Damn it. Because I change it from Secret New Homebrew to just the debut because well, it's Rob not secret Robotron. Anymore. Was it Robotron? But then was Gorf? Gorf was oh, it was that. Robotron. There we was go. Was it Robotron? Nathan, Nathan said Robotron, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and nobody would believe he could do that either. <laughs> so um, uh, have your guesses. Mm. Um, but, uh, oh, no, I've used the same artwork, artwork before, mm. so it has no hints. And 
I don't know what it is, and that wasn't sent to me. I, yeah. I made that up for last time. Gauntlet, that's mm -hmm. totally possible. Gauntlet would uh, be a possible. possibility, yeah. John is good at making the impossible yeah. possible. Hi, These cats stinky. are very stinky. Would I you know. be able to yeah. take care of that issue? Yes, sir. Yes, thank, thank you. you stinky cat. Um, thank and Nathan Strum sent me something to put on the screen because um, he needs to do some calibration. So I'm going to make sure that is working. <laughs> Tempest. That I have a hard time believing. But you never know. Tempest is definitely at the top of many people's lists. So this is uh, a color uh, calibration kind of thing. Is this one? Yeah. So he said to put on colors three. I'll just ignore the slide boy. I'm not going to take that off. Um, and I've the Atari's been on for like two or three hours now, so it's well broken in. So there's the colors, and they're actually really nice. There's different, there's differentiation for all the colors. It looks really great. Uh, you're very welcome, Nathan. Yeah, Tempest would be the impossible. It's just, I don't, if you'd have to make it with Playfield, and if you don't, it'd be chunky with Playfield, and if you don't use Playfield, what are you going to use? So I have no idea. That, that just wouldn't be possible. But some people's guesses, Pretty. some people have made their guesses already. Yeah. Um, Mr. Do, which would be amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing. That would be awesome. I can see him doing that. Uh, Sydney Hunter, that was a very strange guess. Some, these are, some of these are from um, a post on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Sydney Hunter is made by Collector Vision Games. Like, mm -hmm. And it's a homebrew already. Oh. So I would... I have no idea why they guessed that. I guess they just want it on the Atari. <laughs> um, Gyrus, which already exists on the 2600. Okay. And is very good. Mm. I mean, he could make it look better, mm. but playability is very, very good. Mm. Uh, Mooncresta, which would be great. That'd be a, that's a good guess. Rescue on fract Fractalus. It's not happening, man. Mm -hmm. That's a 3D landscape game. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the, the 2600 would explode probably. You never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. Um, Satan's Hollow, somebody guessed. Obviously, that would be amazing. Mm -hmm. That's probably our number one pick. I would love Satan's Hollow. That we would yeah. love. Yeah. Um, Spy Hunter. That's a good guess. Mm -hmm. Um, you know that one? No. Uh, vertical, uh, racing game, top down. You mm -hmm. get power ups. Um, you get oil slick and fog and people are trying to bump you off the road mm. you can turn into a boat at some times that would mm. be good alex kid in atari world mm. um phoenix which has been done in the initial run obviously he'd make it better but yeah. phoenix was pretty pretty good mm. in the initial original one spire already, already exists mm. did they put that out for the 2600 I always found Spy Hunter very hard. It moves so fast uh, that you just get killed instantly. I'm just yeah. really bad at it, maybe. Because, yeah. obviously, some pe lots of people love it. Uh, I thought you might be able to make Tempest similar to Suicide Mission for the Supercharger. Oh, I'll have to take a look at that. Um, has Portal been ported? It came out on the C64. Really? Somebody was, Interesting. Somebody yes. was working it on yes. uh, uh, for it for the 2600. I remember something about that. And it was a double joystick game or yes. something? Yeah. Or maybe you pressed the button, placed your portal, pressed the button, placed your other portal. Somebody was working on it. They didn't get far, but it was so promising. Yeah. It looked really cool. Yeah. And you had to... Yeah. You, I remember. I remember that. You just placed the two portals jumped into one and you fell through the other and you collected items all over the screen it was a side view portal game mm. it was amazing mm. and i wish they continued on yeah uh and then somebody guessed uh champ sports baseball champ sports hockey and mountain raider which he's all announced before mm. S and this is a secret new homebrew so i think it's something he hasn't talked about mm. just like the last times and i do have um Something that was sent to me for the 21st. It's in here. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to do anything with it beforehand. Mm. I, I guess I am. But um, yes, very exciting. Plans are in motion. Nice. Very excited. Um, so 
What is that? Uh, somebody talked about the palette is a bit odd. Um, there are different options for the palette. Oh, get zapped. Yep. There's that one. That one. That one. That one. Now I've. Now I don't know which one it is. That one. So that one is yeah. the original one. Yep. Or should I go with that one? And I'll stick with the original. I think it's the proper one. There we go. Because there's uh, a palette button on the back uh, for this mod. So, ooh, I hope I'm on the right one. Nathan, feedback? <laughs> is this the right palette? Is this fine? Looks or is right. any of the other ones like, yeah. Because some of those are PAL palettes. And oh, one I of them see. is a CCAM palette, I believe. Oh. Yeah. Uh, go back to the third one. So this is first, second, third. Hmm. That was nice, actually. Oh, that actually. was the one we started with. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, I think it is. It's very dark. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that does go very dark on the brown in the bottom. That one looks correct. Mm -hmm. This is a very cool um, program, actually. See that little dot? You can make the whole screen that color. Oh. So you can do um, calibrations with it, um, color calibrations. Oh, I see. Pink. Um, as you see, I still have not been able to get rid of some of the interference. Yeah, that's kind it's of bizarre. It's better. Hmm. Like, I've made it so it's not as bad. Mm. Um, I don't, I, it was perfect before I tore this apart, brought it upstairs. Now bring it back down and it's nightmarish. Um, very, why you, very, why annoying. do you think that is? It's, well, it's where the cords multiple, were placed. Or? It could be cord yeah. placement. All the cords are the same cords. Yeah. Um, yeah, it could be cord placement. Um, it's when I turn the camera on. That's when all the lights, everything else doesn't do anything. It's the camera when I turn it on. I've plugged the camera into a totally different circuit. And it's, it's still causing Still the problems. same. Did you I've, switch any of the cords on the camera, maybe? They only, there's only one way to plug it in. Yeah, it's the same. There's only one same cord. Cords. You didn't use a different cord I can't, or something. I don't, I can't use another cord. Okay. Yeah. All the oh. cords are the same. And today I was switching cords all around and I couldn't. Couldn't figure it out. So, whatever. We're going to have to deal with, with it for at least another couple days. And I'm going to play with it again mm -hmm. between this episode and Tuesdays. So, mm -hmm. good luck to me. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you have any guesses, uh, additional guesses uh, for the what the homebrew could be for Champ Games, put it in uh, the club there, the forum, on the forums. So, let's see, some people have already guessed. Some more. Oh, let's see if any, anybody else had anything yet. Nope. No, because I just checked it before the show. Um, okay, so it is time for the first homebrew, which is Slide Boy Maze Land. It's on the 7800. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe a little bit dark, but I've got screen caps of both, so we'll see what the closest to our dev system. Okay. Mm. Cat. Cat. There is a cat. So let's load up. You've got it flipped back to... Uh... Oh. What's going on there? Well, at least they can hear us. I don't know why I put it on that. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Just clicked on the wrong one, I guess. Yep. Show's over. Bye, everyone. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> okay. Open up Slide Boy. And here we go. So we have played this on the 2600. So calm down, calm down. No, I'm just... Calm down, don't select it immediately. Survivor! <laughs> no. So we've got three options okay. here. Uh, normal, easy, and survivor. Um, survivor, uh, he doesn't explain it in the post, I don't think. <laughs> but oh. uh, um, survivor is you have a time limit to do all the puzzles. Everything. And you okay. get one life. Wow. So you probably want to do it on normal, normal I but think, uh, yeah. hi VHZC. Hey VHZC, <laughs> beautiful title screen. Yeah, it's got in Maze Land has a maze in behind the Maze Land. I like that. And the slide boy is like a, a, metal, a metal sign, sign with it. rivets in it. Yeah, I like that. And you've got slide boy there rotating. Yeah, as the, <laughs> as the menu item. Yeah, it's just 
Awesome. Yep. And VHC Games and Games is all scrawly. Yeah. Very, very nice. It is very nice. Uh, in Survivor, you have 99 seconds to see how far you get. Okay. Okay. That makes sense. So we'll do that after we play A through. A little bit. Yeah. So we are yeah. familiar with the levels. I would, I would do normal. normal. Try normal first. Yeah. See how, see how. This is just gorgeous. The colors he's using. I can't hear a thing, so let's turn it up. Slamming against the walls. Slide boy is uh, very heavy. Nice. Beautiful clear screen. You see the lives down there. Yeah. What room number, what room? score, and what timer. Time as, it, as it goes down. And you get more. Um, more points if you have more time by the end. And so far it's, it's an upgrade. Like it's the same screens. But obviously, with better graphics for the 7800. VHZC, are they all exactly the same screens uh, as the 2600 version? Yeah, great graphics. Just mm -hmm. VHZC's graphics are just astounding so yeah. <laughs> and so clean. <laughs> so hesitant. Oh, I'm just trying to figure out my timing on this. Well, you go as soon as. Oh. <laughs> that that wasn't going to kill you, I don't think, even if you do hit it. Oh, what am I doing? <laughs> Esther Mayer says, this looks so good. It does. Um, so this is first posted on May 1st. Uh, this build oh, is... I died. <laughs> I was thinking. <laughs> uh, this build is from May 6th, which is yesterday. It's a 48K game. Um, VHZC has done a million games. Do this. Roach in Space, Roach in Space 2, Cosmic Bugaloo, Canonica, Doremi, Draco, Iran, 2608 bit, Night Guy in Low Res World, Castle Days, 2600, Night Guy on Board, 30 Squares of Fate, uh, 7800, <laughs> Night Guy Quest for Something, 7800, Low Res Car, Low Res Racer, Ninja Sky in Low Res World, Peril, Slide Boy in Maze Land, 2600, and 7800. Um, so he posted, hi, this week I was away from the computer where I'm coding my other projects. So in the meanwhile, I spend the time starting to port my game, Slidebone Mazeland, to the 7800. I've completed a first demo ROM with the game mechanics and 16 oh screens. God. I've only tested on the A7800 emulator, so testing on actual hardware would be really appreciated. You're welcome. <laughs> so far, so good. Um, the mechanic of the game is pretty simple. Slide to the room, avoid obstacles, activate some switches, and exit the room. I'm sure somebody's already played this on their system. Um, probably um, Crossbow, because I think I saw him posting a bunch. Um, and then yesterday, post an update. You, new work in progress ROM, more rooms, and so there's 24 in total. He's done some cosmetic changes and end of game screen added. No skull. Oh, and Carl G has, has played it as well. Were you we able to reuse a lot of code from the 2600 version? Hmm, that is a very good question. Because, I mean, the screens are laid out the same, but you still have to make adjustments. And you'd have to redo the graphics completely. Um, I just recently learned that the 7800 does not have hardware collisions. So that would have to be done completely over. Um, that sounds nightmarish. So you have to do... Is that little... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Is that little... <laughs> That's how you die. What are you doing? I hit I hit the, the joystick. Twice? Yep. yep. Um, oh, my that goodness. little screen blip going up, is that a a screen jump or is that just a fast transition because watch when you go to the next screen no that looks on purpose looks like it's on purpose doesn't look like a, a screen flip splendid nut says collisions are easy oh well somebody was complaining about it the other day going oh my god i have to do collisions because i guess they're all um hitbox collisions because on the 2600 built in is pixel perfect collision detection, which is, oh, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> got crunched by it. At least it, it didn't, didn't kill me. It didn't explode or do something weird. It 
pushed you to the side, which is something that you would expect, right? Um, so there's a good test. I don't know if anybody's done that <laughs> weirdness before. You have to press it as just as it just passes, like just. I know, and I'm not succeeding at that whatsoever. Yeah. It's easy from the down because it slows at the down. So well, you have this lots is of in time. the middle. So they're in the middle. That you have half the time you just did. It is a seventy-eight hundred game, but originally it was a twenty-six hundred game. Um, and we played the twenty-six hundred oh game. We have to we, go back. We didn't uh, only once though. We didn't finish the twenty-six hundred game, did we? Oh my God! Two, one. You gotta be faster. <laughs> Say that again, sir. I don't think we finished the 2600 game. We came close. Oh, no. One one it... screen away, I think. I died close. on the last screen. But we also did on easy, I think. Oh, VH the T, you're away from the keyboard. I asked you a bunch of questions. Run! <laughs> uh, what was my question? Are all the screens exactly the same as the 2600 version? Like you're doing a screen. Oh, oh you not gotta move fast one enough. more. Um. Woof, woof. Yeah, um, you're converting the screens over from the 2600 version. Are are they the same layout, though? Um, what was the other one? What was the other question? Oh, when it goes up the screen and a new screen is drawn, it doesn't look like a glitch, but it also does because it's so fast. It looks like a screen jitter. But I'm guessing it's not. It... Oh, some screens are similar, others don't. So, oh, little fire there. Cute. Don't want to run into that fire. Mm. Uh, you want to go mm -hmm. up, left, down, over, up. Mm -hmm. And you're dead. My turn. You're Too so much time. So slow. Thinking about thinking Too about my next slow. move. Got to power through it. Yep. Power through it. Pixel, why are you always off camera? <laughs> we have a cat cam specifically for you. Mm -hmm. And your brother. I don't think Love. I'd like this game. <laughs> yeah. You don't like this game? Yeah. Super fun. This is like exactly the type of games I like. You're crazy. Crazy. <laughs> 2600 has hardware collision registers, and 7800 I had to write collision boxes for everything. Mm, yeah. Oh my god. Uh, there you go. I accidentally pressed. Did, I mean, I, I pressed it, but I just I wasn't even thinking. You have to do it um, before they're kind of, like, while they're still in your path. If you go yes. too soon, then you it, you hit them every time. It's both fun and stressful. Yeah, exactly. It is stressful. Oh, that's an even better way. <laughs> I did it a totally yeah, different way. That, uh, it was fine, but that, yeah, that is actually better. Yeah, yours is a bit better. more hectic, because if you go up, yeah. you're kind of clear. Yeah. That was very tight. That was very tight. Hi, Atari. Hi. Oh, cat. <laughs> Lap cat. cat. Lap cat. Hi. Hi. Oh, I remember this one. Oh, my God. I hate this. Oh, that's much slower. It is. So, so much slower. Thank you, VHZ. <laughs> the other one was really fast. It was fast. You had to time oh, it really. Those are my worst carefully. enemies in. Yeah. Uh, oh, what is going on here? You come out the other side, so you I have, have to, to go time. to that. Um, yeah, so don't watch the fire. There you go. That was close. Yep. You have to go. You have to go very quick. As soon as it's over. There we go. Back out you go. Seventy-eight hundred will have less screens for that reason. For what reason? That it's fun and stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh no! Go go go! Oh, that was Going close. Between these guys. Yeah, I think so. Jesus. Went too soon. What is happening? 
Um, what is the difference between normal and easy? Is it more time? I would think it's more time. Do you, I don't think die. the guys would be any... So 30 seconds on normal. Mm. Yeah, easy. Because I think we, we made it pretty mazes. far, but I have a feeling we were playing 40 it on seconds. easy. Okay, so... No? Time really hasn't been an issue, so I'm going to go survivor? back to normal. 90 seconds no, no, no. to see how far you can go? I don't think so. <laughs> Do normal one more time. Mm. Is there 52 on our board of this? <laughs> Yeah, get on it, VHZC. All four platforms. <laughs> 5200 8-bit. Uh, uh, add links in there. And do a Jaguar port. Yeah. Um, Need an Android and an iOS version. Oh, no, stick into Atari. Stick into Atari. <laughs> <laughs> and one for the new... Jaguar, uh, yes. Atari box. <laughs> yes. This is Jaguar. Of which I'm going to buy now. I've already, oh, I've already bought the SCART um, cable for it, because apparently Jaguars output RGB natively. Oh. Which is, go. <gasps> nope, you did what I did. You have to get it just as he's in, uh, just as they're in your path. Pretty much. Because if if waste of I was life just timing it too late, I was doing it. I do miss my Jaguar. Oh. Why would you sell it? Why would you sell a game console? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have all the game consoles I've consoles, ever owned. Consoles break too. Oh yeah, I guess he could have. This could have broken, right? In fact, it would be easier to port a more faithful version to the Atari 8-bit using PM graphics and hardware collision registers. PM. I don't know what that is. Lord Howard Hertz, sprite work on this is amazing. Yes. Oh, it's just. They're beautiful. Gorgeous. Oh, you did that last time too. <laughs> it's like, but I didn't die last time no. either. No. <laughs> Those guys are so Player awesome. missile. Okay. Mm. Oh my gosh, you're so licky. <laughs> you're so licky today. Such a licky cat. He is a licky cat. Sometimes it just gets out it's of control. Like just. That's how I show my love. Oh, it is. I purr and I lick. <laughs> Oh, oh, too, too soon. Early. Hi, yeah, fluffers. Oh, my lives, my lives. Oh. Fun fact, after the Jaguar went bust, they sold the molds to a company that made dental cameras. So mm. You can find dental cameras that look like Atari Jaguars. I did read that. <gasps> that is so funny. Okay, something I'm doing very wrong. I'm going You're way just, too early. You were going a little too early, I think. So Atari is licky licky? Lick licky? He's <laughs> he is. Very licky. He's very licky. He's a licky cat. Yeah. Okay. What am I doing Just... here? Well, I gotta cross this for sure. And then up. the only other way is oh. up. And the only oh. other way is oh. down. Then to the middle. Is it? No. Well I have to. I can't go left. And then. Oh, and it's oh, up. Do... Oh. Then it's over, up, over, down, and three seconds. Oh, God damn it! No, you only have three seconds. I wish you could pick the room. No. I do. If you've made it to that room, yes. Well, it would be nice for a tutorial level so you could try rooms out. But No, that's so cheap. But it's, I guess that's true. Have to earn I it. guess if everything was survivor mode, then yes. Where it was all just about doing it time-wise. But no, you're right. You're right. You have, you have to, to earn, earn it. You have to earn it. You have to earn the levels. Otherwise, game. you can see every single level. Right? You're right. No. Um, oh, so if funny. if anything, if you're gonna add that in, you would add in. You've made it to level eight. You can choose anything up to level. Well, no, eight that's now. what I mean. So that you can you can go oh, back practice to practice it. Yeah, practice levels or start at a level. Like your your score would never be as good because you'd oh, be no. starting at a later level. But yeah, you'd, you'd have zero score. But like if you if you made it to a level, you could start at eight and then go to nine, kind of thing. Right. Yeah. But I also do appreciate the, oh, you screwed up, you start from the beginning. Yep, it should you be know, hard. Punish people <laughs> for their incompetence. That's, that's how I see it. <laughs> well, that's my quote of the day. Way. Punish people for their incompetence. <laughs> punish people for their incompetence. <laughs> Don't tell any of my, my colleagues that. Oh, we didn't say the names in the chat. I always forget. Been oh, we can go that back lately. and do that. There's probably, it probably hasn't scrolled that far up. <laughs> I 
that easy games are not like my thing, yes. Oh my god, that is so <laughs> stupid. It The key is balance. You don't want a game to be too easy, and you don't want it to be too hard, either. You, yeah. want, it, you want it to be achievable. Hard and achievable. So, and, and, and VHZC, your games are right in that... Yes. Air, that that range because you know you can do it you know you can do whatever it whatever you're saying keeps you moving forward right so yeah yeah so much for rewarding people for their skills take the negative view <laughs> <laughs> put that on a t-shirt <laughs> oh i've come up with a whole bunch <laughs> of t-shirts for when we come back after the break oh really yeah nice i need to get some good t-shirts so i need some t-shirt uh, suggestions suggestions i was saying to james that i wanted to go online and find some good t-shirts well, what i have a kind of t-shirts i mean i like video game related video game related but i i like them i don't know yeah what video era? game related or 80s era related shirts oh, like i don't that mind opens it up i don't lot. mind some of that too but you, you want to find something unique there's a lot of you see a lot of repetition in the in the shirts people wear and stuff like that so i just have to look i mean um What's the site that we use? Any of those sites have tons of... Oh, that's so much. So many options. So, so many. Okay, those look like spinning yeah, so blades. Many. Oh, they do. Look at that. I'm going to the bottom. Yeah. Or one of those cool vertical CD players. <laughs> yeah. A How little bit. How do I <laughs> do this? How do I do this? How do I do this? Oh, I know. Okay. Side. Oh, you hit it? Yeah. There you go. Whew. I grew playing games like Mega Man and Contra. I think my games are some sort Heard of vengeance. vengeance. <laughs> I don't, yeah. It's all a balance. Uh, okay, I have to go through that one. Oh, oh I knew it. Zappity. Well, there's the zapper, which is cool. I always like the zapping. I do too. Okay. Down, down, down. Oh, no, the fire never goes away, does it? Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. Up, yeah. Over, down, down. Yeah, there you go. Yay! Never thought Contra was hard. Um, it doesn't look hard. I think if I played it enough, like I've seen people play mm -hmm. through it, it doesn't... I just need to learn how to play it properly. And Mega Man is just putting in time as well. Mega Man's a fun game, though. Yes. Super fun. Uh, uh, okay... Sure, up here, up here, and, and down and across. No, 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 no. Yeah, but you have to time it. And there you go. Down and across. Up and across. Up and across. Sorry. Like down. Don't listen to me. I mean, I mean, <laughs> up and across. I can. Oh, the, vis I'm the visualizing palm. it and seeing it, and yet my mouth is not speaking the right words. So. <laughs> oh, neat. Very neat. Oh, what are those that. spiky things? Spiky nice. green flames. Yeah, they're like, like claws, like horns. Like teeth, green teeth sticking out. <gasps> nope. ah oh no! <laughs> oh, that was the end. Room 15. Uh, this is a time limited sliding block puzzle in which you are the sliding block. Yes. <laughs> yes. yes. Uh, how many? 24. Okay. Oh Go, keep going. Keep going. I've got I've got a big, fluffy, sleepy cat on my One lap. One right more now. normal or? Do another normal. Okay. Yeah, do another normal. I used to be able to beat it without dying. Oh, which contra, I'm guessing? Hmm. And can actually beat it about six times in a row with the same set of lives. Oh my god. That's pretty good. Because every time you play this, you get better. Because you know the pattern and you can do it a little bit faster. one without dying well we see this at games done quick in the future this looks like something speedrunners might have yes very this is a very good so. speedrunning game yeah. yes do they pay, play 7800 games there mm -hmm. 
Usually those kind of things do on classic games only because everybody's so familiar with the, with the classic, classic games. games. Well, which is kind of... It's where the prestige is, I guess. <laughs> which is kind of annoying. It's like there's so many good homebrew games that just never get shown or never get played. Well, people play what they know. I mean... True. And they're, they played it for years and years, years and years. Years and years, so they get That's good at it. That's why they're very good at it. This one, you have to wait for it to come back. Can't make it fast. Oh, that was close. Right. I love this two-part. Mm -hmm. Two-part maze. It's a little different on the 2600 version, but it's, it's still got the rooms, same. It's in two rooms, right? No, 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 no. Oh. I love these guys with the eyeballs. They're so cute. They're mean I don't know if they're supposed cute. to be cute, but they are cute. Menacingly cute. That was the portal room. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Did I mess up? No. Yeah, you go up and right. then to, and through the middle. Yeah. Watch out! Oh, damn it. I wasn't even looking. Oh, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> Terrible! Two lives wasted. Because you don't think about that one. No, you forget and, he and goes he's, right down to the bottom. Somehow he set up the timing so it kills you if you just go. <laughs> he's devious. Much faster. Yeah. Uh, Terry Ball. This game should perhaps be renamed... Oh, damn it! Yes. Damn it! Oh, do I have to time Across. this? Yeah. Yeah. It's not obvious right away. No, it's like, I hate that. And that's when you just there. stop and think about it. Like, where am I, where am I going next? Very close. Tight. <laughs> Very tight. I love this. This one is easier than it appears because there's yeah. a lot of time between that bounce, but yeah. it but at first it you're looks like really ah. cool. Yeah. This is where I died last. I think. Yeah, I didn't even make it. Anywhere. <laughs> oh no. Room fifteen again. Uh, well, we're gonna show off the survivor mode. Mm. Um, which is the same game, but you have a hundred or ninety-nine mm. um, counts down. Seconds. I got ten points for that. <laughs> this is kind of cool because it's absolute points, right? How quickly yeah. you can get through it. I I would be curious, uh, VH, to see how far you get on Survivor mode. <laughs> Him himself. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure he's amazing at it, but... Uh... How good are you at your own games? <laughs> I, I would assume very good, but still. Some people aren't. Some people make their games and they're like, oh, I have to put in mm. cheat mode to play it. You only get one life. <sighs> and that's it. <laughs> <sighs> I went in the wrong direction. Yeah. Oh, it resets back to normal. What do you think about menus? Mm. Like, I was just on survivor mode. Hey. Sorry, I was just reading the chat. Um, menus? Sorry? I was just on survivor mode. Yeah. And then when I finished survivor mode, it went back to the top menu. Oh, it didn't It save. went to normal. It didn't go to survivor mode again. Gotcha. Um, and that's the same with the plus cart. It resets um, everything? It kind of goes to a random, like when you're typing in letters. It goes to a randomish uh, row of letters. Mm. Um, Carl G said, I've never beat Space Game. Maggie has, though. Oh, well, it's doable. Oh. Because you have to test the game, right? You have to test all the levels to 
make sure you can actually even make it. True. This one is not like so there's how well, many once, levels? Twenty-four. Once you've memorized the levels. I don't think it's even possible to survive. I don't think you could do all twenty-four. Could you? I don't no. know. You, let's say it's twenty-five. You have four seconds to do every level. Mm. That's ridiculous. That's not even possible. <laughs> right? You have ninety-nine yeah. seconds. And there's twenty-four rooms. Rounded up to twenty-five. Four seconds a room. You, you can't even, even if you're the fastest, you can't do f four seconds every room. Look, I've already, like, that's as fast as you could go in that room. And it was at least five seconds, if not more. <laughs> okay, I'm doing it pretty much the fastest possible right now. Wait for the flame. Go. Was that four seconds? Not a chance. <laughs> Not a chance. Maybe there's some rooms that you can do in four seconds. It needs to be recalibrated. Less than four seconds, because you have to... Oh, you died. You hit the end of your 99 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Room, room nine. nine. And I thought I did that pretty fast. It's like 11 seconds a room. Yeah. That's impossible. <laughs> <laughs> it's totally impossible. Yeah. I guess it's... It's as far how, as you can get. How far you can get. Oh, cat. But you think you should be able to... Make it somehow to the end and survive. No, 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 no. I don't no? see why. No, I don't think so. Want to do one more? Or you're done. I'll do one more. Okay. Should I do? Uh, I'll, I'll do it. Uh, I don't. I don't think the timing okay. is an issue, really. This is pretty. Fun. In 2020, uh, Games Done Quick played 200 2018 homebrew NES game, Chicken of the Farm. Wow. Most of the other stuff seems like non homebrews. Trevor and Crossbow get to level 11. Well, yeah. What did I get to? Level 9? Nine. Nine? Okay. Which isn't bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Just have to shave a couple seconds off. A couple of those. <laughs> I think the game is great, but I like Ninja Sky more because it has some more combat crouching moves. I ordered Ninja Sky a cart from AA. Oh, this nice. is one of those just one more time games. Oh, 100%. Um, that was good because yeah you know you can do it like the get the level i ended up on was like oh. it's not hard i just had only one life left <laughs> it's just oh, learning and timing mm. yeah you went too quick too quick <sighs> close that that it's is always close that's the hardest thing in the whole game so far i think yeah it is that part when you're going across the timing to the left. is just so tight yeah so for room four it might be a little early <laughs> go but it's not bad having a hard level and then an easy one and hard yeah. easy i don't think it gets like super easy any of the ones from here on in after i complete all the screens i have plans to add more to time to survivor oh good 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 so i think it would be good to have enough time that an expert player could do it could make it all the way to the end mm. and of course you have score too so you could always make it all the way to the end and <gasps> and then <laughs> and then have a good score on top of that so it would differentiate the different people who've made it all the way through through Survivor. Slow Mole is a new NES homebrew you should check out. The game looks like a good time. Slow Mole. Mm. I do. Do I have any NES homebrews? I swear I, I do. Don't know. <gasps> oh my goodness! <laughs> I panicked. Did you panic? I panicked, but I didn't die. So you know that's something. I don't think I do. <laughs> I mean, I have a multi card for the NES. Um, I was highly contemplating one the other day of buying an NES homebrew. It was Wizard something, but after shipping and conversion and tax yeah it was too much it was over a hundred dollars i swear atari um 2600 7800 homebrew are the cheapest homebrews out there 
every single other no you have to you have to hit the bottom and go down oh there you go okay um yeah all the other consoles are like at least seventy dollars after everything um you know conversion and tax mm -hmm. and every 70 canadian wizard's nose no not wizard's tower it's a uh four player game uh where you're jumping up the tower uh trying to get to the top um I have to says I should write a 2600 game. No idea what it would be though. <laughs> oh, you have the opposite problem. <laughs> there's so many ideas out there. If you want to make somebody really happy, there's a whole thread in the Atari Age forums about people's ideas. I mean, I have a book of like 20, 25 ideas that I want to make. What the hell am I, I doing I dream here? them up all, all the time. Uh, go down, right, and then up. Down, right? Down, go down to the right, oh, there. up, and then go through. Um, but my problem is lack of time. Actually, my problem is doing the show. <laughs> it takes all my time up. Oh, I got oh, it. 13's not bad. 13's not bad. Good stuff. Wow, that is that is great. On the 2600 or 7800, um, that is a great game. Amazing. Yep. Amazing. So much fun. <laughs> and it's gorgeous. And you just want to keep playing. It's gorgeous yep. looking. Look what I've got caught. Oh, you caught How did you catch? I didn't even try. He How did laid you catch down. Him? still a half cat it doesn't fully this cat does not fully get on your lap no um so up next we're going to be playing crystal quest nice featuring bentley bear <laughs> not bentley bear's crystal quest okay um so if you want to put is this 2600 no it's 7800 you have to turn off the cartridge first turn off by flipping it up on the right hand side what there's a switch on the cartridge this one yeah the cartridge yep yeah, flip it up there you go. Okay. Now turn off the power to the 7800. Should have been done in the opposite order, actually. Okay. Pull it out nice and gently. Put it in front of it or behind it. Yeah. No, nope, behind it. Wherever. Yeah. Um, Look at this cat. I'm trying to not disturb the cat. That's why Tanya is putting, so cute. putting the game in. Hi. Oh, you want to smell it? Oh, you want to rub it? Get your cat spit all over it. And you've moved. Okay. He's I'll like, put oh, it in. there's a spot over I'll put here. it in. You can sit down. Hello. This is my new co-host. Watch out. Watch out. Squish. Squish that cat. Squish that cat. If anybody's seen that video, it <laughs> went viral a couple of years ago. Yes. But this... Um, about this vet that was like trying to get cats to calm down and his method was to squish the cat He's like, like push the cat push down, down so push down on the cat <laughs> and, it, and it worked amazingly well yeah he's in vancouver yeah where we live so and he kept saying squish that cat squish that cat <laughs> and people made compilation like little things about squishing the cat yeah ah oh, crystal quest um, made by Bob DeCrescenzo, uh, who is in the chat tonight, Pac-Man Plus. Mm -hmm. uh, this was first posted about June 26, 2012. And this uh, build, well, this was released in the Atari Age store to the general public mm -hmm. July 16th, 2017. 2017, okay. It's 144K. If you want to pick up the joystick. Yep. And go for it. Oh. Bentley Bears Crystal Quest. Well, I disagree. Uh, the cover says Crystal Quest featuring Bentley Bear. The side only says Crystal Quest. Uh, the back says only Crystal Quest. And uh, let's see what the manual says. I apparently really so, suck at this game. Um, yep, yeah, says Crystal Quest featuring Bentley Bear. Artwork by Jim Ordolis. Now there are... Um, Okay, one of the button you hold down to run faster. Because you won't be able to get over things if you don't hold that button down. There are different settings oh, for the button configuration. Because this may not be uh, optimal for you. No, it is not. Okay. Can barely move. 
There we go. So the difficulty switches. Um, you can either have button one run and fire, button two jumps, or button one jumps and button two runs and fires, which is what you have it on right now. Do you want to try it out on the second configuration? I, well, that's not going to be a problem because my energy is down to almost nothing. <laughs> and I'm dead. Okay. Let's try it on the second. <laughs> what was the other one? Sorry. I, I. What did you say the second configuration was? It's the... One is jumping. The other one... Well, mm. it's opposite now, right? Yes. Okay. So you figure out which one you like best. <laughs> I don't think I like this one better. Oh, Pac-Man Plus. No, I switch it back. Switch it back. <laughs> I've always called it Bentley Bear's Crystal Quest. Oh, you should talk to your artist. Because <laughs> apparently he didn't get the memo. <laughs> so officially, I guess it's Bentley Bear's Crystal Quest. Um, but uh, not on the box. So if you're going to categorize this in your collection, would you put it under B or C? Hmm. Because you'll look at the side and it just says Crystal Quest and you have to remember Bentley Bear. <laughs> no, it doesn't. His opinion doesn't count. VH that's easy. Thanks for your order. The money will be destined for a good cause. Video games. Oh, he killed me. Exactly. Shoot him. Shoot him. My goodness. Shoot those would, guys. I thought he would bring my energy down, not kill me outright. Um... So there's some notes I got from the 46 pages of notes. I did not go through all of them in the Atari Age forums. Um, it was a long read. It's pretty cute, this game. Oh, it's, it's adorable. Um, and it uses characters, or it's inspired by characters, from the uh, arcade game Crystal Castles, which is an isometric rollerball game, um, which is really fun. And you do play as the bear, and all these characters are in the game from the Crystal Castles game. And that's where it came, the uh, Crystal Quest came from. Are those celeries? Those are trees. Are they trees? <laughs> they kind of look like... Little celery guys. Cucumbers. Ooh. Energy? Energy. Yeah. Get them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them. I have to get, I have to have them. Now, in, just like space. Mario, there are secret areas in this Ooh, game. really? So you may want to hunt around sometimes. Or like jump high and just look around. Oh, cool. I feel a little bit of pack land in here, which is no surprise given the author. Somebody um, hacked this. Hey, you're playing. Shoot. I'm Somebody... reading the, the, the tips. <laughs> you're not reading the tips out for me. Okay. Just a hint. When you see a branch sticking out to the right, always run and jump off the side. So that's Pac-Man Plus's hint. That's how you'll get some uh, some bonus stuff. One is coming up on this level. Here's one right now. Run and jump off the side? Yeah. So you'll get to that other spot there. Ugh. Run and jump. Ugh. No, not, not enough running. I think you probably have to get up to the top there. Oh, you might be able to make it, actually. You have to run! Run! There you go. <laughs> oh. Run! Oh, you can do it again. This game has an early SMS game vibe. You're not running. Run and jump off the... I did run and jump off. Off the top? You just fell off the top. Off this top? Yeah, right at the top. Just like Super Mario Brothers, right? You have to jump and go really high and... Like run and jump? Run and jump. No, not quite enough. Okay. Jump at the last second. Um, so there was a post uh, by Trebor saying, without warps, it can be completed in about or a little over an hour. Approximately 10 to 15 minutes per level, completely played through. Oh boy. Ugh. Utilizing it's warps, the time, when you hit things, the time shrinks considerably. Four warps were discovered by <laughs> Mr. Beefy. Are there more? I have to say, I'll go away now. Are you causing trouble? <laughs> no. Is Bentley turning them into jelly babies? What happens when you shoot them? What do they look like? Get your, oh. You need to get your rock. That's what I want. There we go. Get your rock. Oh, it came out of the pit. Oh, those skeletons are devious. Mm -hmm. 
That's the level warp. Oh, okay. You missed the level warp. Which one? The thing that this thing. you missed. Yeah, there. Or maybe not that one. Oh, that was close. The skeletons so. are... Not quite. No, I think you have to go. Oh, no, there. it was up above. There? Now run and jump the last second. No, oh. way too early. No, it's uh, the timing of That's the... the level. You probably have to go down in between those. But, of course, if you do the level warp, you don't get to see the level. I hate those skeletons. It's probably something up there. Yeah. Tree. Yay, An energy. energy. Title screen is gorgeous. Oh, don't think there's anything up there. No. Maybe. Um, some. Uh, so this was posted about uh, by Synthapapalooza about the music of the game. Well, that might be another level warp. Oh, you may be able to choose which and <sighs> fail. Yeah. It's because I'm not running the whole time. Yeah. I, I can't get enough of a run. You have to run and jump. And you I have think. to do it the last second, too. Yeah. Looks like a special rock. It does look like a special rock. I obviously missed something good there. I play ah. this with pain lines. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad for you. Um, some interesting tidbits about the music. Do, 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 do. The level one music is from the Dance of the Hours Ballet. This music... music Piece is also more commonly heard in the Alan Sherman song, Hello Mada, Hello Fada. Actually, it's pretty low in the stream. There we go. Uh, the Witch Fight music is the opening from the classical Lids Pieced Mephisto Waltz. I thought it was seemed suitably creepy. A later selection of the same piece is used as the opening music for the arcade game Crystal Castles. Yay. The Nutcracker Suite music got used a lot on the arcade Crystal Castle, so of course it had to make its way here too. Level 2 is Waltz of the Flowers, which we'll be hearing... Oh, it's not at uh, level 2. How many rounds are there? I think there's 8 per level. Mm. We won't hear that yet. Oh yeah, same music. Oh, look, it's... Uh, look at that scrolling. Parallax. Very nice. Oh, oh. bad timing on that. Bentley's looking a little green. May need to adjust the 7800 colors. Yes, that. I have to adjust colors on my 7800, and I need to adjust colors on my XEGS as well. It was turning Brown Roads pink. Oh, yeah. On the Adventure 2 XE. Was that, oh. Those are kind of like caterpillars, those. Um, yeah, they're funny. Tall green things. Those are in the Crystal Castles as well. I played a ton of Crystal Castles on my C64. He's a mad tree. The hook nose. Get him. Get him. There you go. Through 2D parallax makes every game better. I 100% agree. Whoa! Oh, I knew he was going to get me. You have to fast. hit him a couple times. Your turn? Yes. All right. Now. Start from the beginning? No. Oh. We'll continue on. Just so we don't it's have nice to, to continue. That's nice. don't have to annoy everyone. Just checking out the level warps would be good, but also playing all the levels would be good too. Ah! Oh my God! It was too close. It's a tree trunk brown too. That would make them less cucumbery. Oh, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, they are a bit uh, cucumbery. Oh, you fell down the pit this time. shade of green. No! Oh, I hate that. Uh, a rock. A rock? Threw me into a pit. A rock? It's uh, one of those games where you bounce off of rocks. Oh, yes, yeah. Did where... you not notice that? <laughs> no, I didn't. I was reading. So it uh, bounced me off a rock and threw me in a pit. Thanks for that. You had to contend with. Yeah, it's like getting the there. Right here. This is what killed yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah, you have to yeah. 
Oh, cool. he jumps. Magical land of bouncy rocks. <laughs> Cucumbery is my new favorite word. <laughs> it's very cucumbery. It's very cucumbery. Oh, and it gets darker as time goes on. Oh, nice. Those those trees, yeah, they definitely look like walking cucumbers with them. Um, uh, what do you call that hairdo? <laughs> Fro? No, 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 no. Um, no! Um, a pompadour. Pompadour. They're like cucumbers with pompadours. <sighs> Oh my god. It de decreases your energy too, so you don't want to hit them. I see why levels take a while now. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I like this scheme. Mm -mm. It would be much better with a um, Genesis controller. <laughs> with three buttons? Uh, just, just with the side-by-side -side buttons. Oh. So you can hold and push, because you can't do that. It's very awkward with the um, arcade-style buttons. To hold one and jump with the other. It is. So definitely, I think there's an advantage to other other styles of um, controllers. You're just forgetting which button's which all the time. It's because they're not side by side. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know if that would even work on this because... I don't know. I don't know how, how this system works with controllers. But... Well, no, because uh, they're so big. Like you're on the... On the Genesis controller, you're kind of rolling your thumb. Back and forth, yeah. And this, you wouldn't even roll your thumb, even if they were side by side. Just, they're still, they're huge buttons. That's right? what I mean. It doesn't work very well with the arcade controller, mm. as it would with a Genesis controller, where, where you have the little right. buttons. Um, still doable. Marge Simpson hairdo. Yes. Oh, uh, yes. The beehive. Kind of a beehive. Yeah. Honey! Oh, get some get honey! Let those horrible skeletons get you, though. They jump out of pits. They do. They're very talented. See how how can it jump out of a pit, but that pit kills you? Well, we're visitors on this uh, on this little land here. That's very true. Oh, we're going down. Hi. Nope. <laughs> I made the layout the same as Super Mario Brothers mm. originally. Oh, that's a good way to um, just fill in uh, mm. a temporary kind of. Um, path to go, right? Mm -hmm. and then you can just fix it or update it later. Bouncy rocks and Oh my god! Hair. Those guys are bad. It's the buttons. I don't know if I like this. Are there... Could you use a different controller or no? No, not controller, a different button layout. You can try the different button layout. I'm yeah. not sure it matters. To be honest, I tried the other one and I felt, no, it's no different. I don't like the big buttons, that's all. It's not as comfortable. Atari Cat! Yeah, skeletons are light. They just catch an updraft. Pixel. He looked at you when you said that. That's how no. you know a cat's doing something bad. <laughs> when when you say their name and They're like what? they look at you. Oh, oh. It's trying to not jump into the skeleton. Yeah. Okay. Is it your turn? That's up to you. There you go. Mm -hmm. Skeletons are light. They just catch an updraft. Ah, see, that's 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 smart thinking. Music is so good. Sound and music is the hardest part of development for me. Ah, uh, yeah, sound is so important in a video game, especially like, well, everything's interactive for sound, pretty much. Music is very rarely interactive. Um, Tower of Rubble is a good example where the music is kind of part of the game. Um, I mean, beyond having the proper setting and being appropriate for the game. But having appropriate sounds, like having the right weight to things, like if Bentley Bear made a different kind of jumping sound, it would, it would make him feel like a different type of character. Pac-Man plus Atari Age. Don't jump in a Same here. Ooh, oh, there's skeletons in the sky. <laughs> it's hanging out there. Oh, I guess they do fall from the sky, the skeletons. And the trees are always on the ground. 
trying to see if the skeletons always fall from the sky. They do! Interesting. They're hanging out in the trees. Almost. One of the hints was to no, not You have to go rush. really slowly. Yeah, not rush into things. The moment you move too fast, it's like, oh, I'm, I'm taking too much time. And it's like, no, you no. just have to do it slow. The, it seems that you get enough energy that it's not too much of a concern. It's only when you hit things, really, that your energy goes down yeah. substantially. And that's not too bad. It's more a danger of falling in pits, I find. Um, on the castle level, I had to use the Sorcerer's Apprentice suite. It just fit. On a level 5, Holtz's Mars Bringer of War. Oh, nice. Uh, the opening theme music is, of course, the Teddy Bear's Picnic. What and is it... that? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, you got it. Angry bees. <sighs> Angry brown green bees. <laughs> green tinted bees. <laughs> probably, probably yellow from the original color. Um, an interesting copyright conundrum exists. The lyrics are under copyright, having been written in 1933, but the melody is not, having been composed in 1912. So I determined we were free to use this music. It just fits. Okay, go past it. There, now shoot it. There, that, that's, yeah, what, no, you that's what I did last time. Yeah, that's what I did last time. It was quite easy. But I bet it goes straight down for you if you don't uh, move past it. Oh. oh, and throws you into the pit. Yeah, you can't oh, control it in the air, so that's okay. And it All right, there you Round go. five. Mm. I enjoy making sound effects, but the music is completely beyond mm. me. Ah, what is happening? You I don't have, get, have a... You have to get it first. Ah, I don't have a shooter. Somehow I may manage to make it past them and then die. Ugh, okay. Now I know. I'm like, what is happening? You have to get it right away. No, I'm going to nope, wait for too those... late, too late. No. Oh. Just jump over them. You could run back, though. Grab it, run back, yeah. and shoot them. Oh, I could shoot them. But... Yeah. Come on. Okay, wait till it gets past you. Well, it's, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. You just have to know. You just have to wait, kind of clear clear the path, and then wait till it comes. There you go. That's better. That was nope, too, too close. That was, that was stupid. Too close. Way too close. I really like it's the music in this game because that of the music. I never mind dying because you get to hear it again. Oh my god, I forgot. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I want to go again. That was too short. Yeah, go, go ahead. We can play a few more. It's a nice game. Mm -hmm. I really, love really platformers. Nice. Yes. What have we been playing a lot of? We were playing uh, for non-homebrew games some um, Yoshi's. Uh, what was the Yoshi's? Uh, what was it? Something Yoshi's Yoshi's something. Farm. Something. It's like all fabric and paper. Uh, what? It's not yarn because that was his no. last one. No. Uh, epic yarn was one, yeah. of, one of the earlier well, ones. That's Kirby's epic yarn. Kirby is epic yarn. Yeah. Yoshi and Kirby. Not Yoshi's. Me up. Yoshi's Woolly World. No. That was, Dad, I was. Why can't backwards. I think of it now? Yoshi's. Uh, it's all paper. Woolly World was like Wii U, I think. Yeah. I already forgot. Anyway. Maybe it is Yoshi's Island. No, that's like SNES. Hmm. No. That's terrible. I can't think of the name now. Yoshi's Taylor's World? Taylor World? <laughs> Taylor World. Uh, no, not quite. Anyway. It's that's good. That's fun. Really, really cute. Really fun. I always find the Yoshi's games very easy to play. Yeah, um, very relaxing. But, you know, you're trying to get all the stars, and they're relaxing. And we would go back and forth. You, you would, you can, you you can play play the world and then play it in reverse. So I would play it through, and you would play the reverse. So you have to find the puppies. All in the, the puppies world. are hidden. Yoshi's, what's, what's its it? name? Yeah, exactly. You got it. That's what it I is. I have to look it up now. I'll be right back. Yoshi's, what's its name? Oh, I still have my bullets. Good. Oh my god, what? The platform moves kind of with you? That's an interesting mechanic. It. 
Oh, it's still kind of following. Oh, it's gone. It's like one of those bikes with a treadmill. Oh, the jumping there. Kirby and Yoshi's are kind of comfort games. You know you will beat it. Yeah, that's why I keep getting them mixed up because they're very similar in their feel. Oh my god. Yoshi's Crafted World. Yoshi's Crafted World. Yes. Okay. Very good. It's really fun. So Tanya and I split the duties on that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, it's very cute. Very cute. Don't rush. That's what I did last time, and... Oh my god, that was close. And I find the Yoshi's games, they're like platformers, you know, yep. modern platformer, but they have sort of oh, more of a okay. <laughs> puzzly element to them. They're not super hard to play. No, they're not. It's like finding all the extra stars. And oh the... my god. Oh, I got you. There was a hidden rock. <laughs> Green Is it rock. stars? It's not stars. Is it stars? St it's not coins. stars. Coins. They're coins. They're big star coins. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, like, they're sort of like stars. <laughs> uh, ooh. Oh, it moves with you. Yeah, oh, that's it's a so very cool. strange feeling. It's kind of... I described it as one of those treadmill bikes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Or it, the feeling you get when you're at an airport and you're walking on a moving uh, oh, uh, a people mover. A people mover. Which is a weird name. Yeah. Um, where you're moving, but you're also moving faster mm -hmm. than you really should be. Yes. And it's a weird It's feeling. a weird sensation. Okay, dude. You can go down there all you want. No rock, no. It's not happening this time. <laughs> yeah, BH said, see, yeah, Kirby and Yoshi's games are kind of comfort games. You know you will beat it. Yeah, that is right. Yes. And they're, they're, it's kind of nice. And they're, they're the kind of games you can play with kids. Right? Ah! Woo! What was that? I don't know. Slow moving frog? <laughs> wasn't wasn't um, a challenge. He was actually slower than everything else. Yeah. Synth Papalooza did do the music, yep. Mm. Missing No Killed You? Missing No? <laughs> oh, look at them all. Walk into my bullets. Thank you. Those bees from the ceiling definitely present a challenge. Because you have to make sure you have enough room. Yeah, and sometimes they float too, which is They kinda... do if you're jumping in the air. I hate those guys. They move really fast. No, I knew oh. it! Bye! Maybe it's the next round. That's cute. Oh. I'm getting used to this button configuration, so... I'm you, okay. You do get used to it after a while, but... Yeah. Um, I know you complain when you have two games on the go, and they have... Completely different uh, controls. Completely different well, button mappings. It depends on the game, but for more complex, like modern console games, where they're really complicated, like there's yeah. fighting and buttons. and and um, wheels that you have to pick what your your oh. weapons are and choosing potions and arming and. Um, oh my God, that guy's magic tough. and and you know like a billion buttons to press. Magic hat. If they're slightly different, I don't know what that is. Invincibility. <gasps> you had touch. I know. <laughs> but they move as I you know. move. Okay. Do you want to do this? I cannot keep see going? those like evil summaries. <laughs> you do another one. Okay. Um, I have to yeah, make it the least I level two. Complain. I always complain ah, when you have to go back and Jesus. forth. My brain just doesn't adapt like it used to. And I was playing Witcher 3 and Skyrim. This is a long time ago. Well, you started Skyrim again recently. It was Dragon Age. I can't remember, but I, I restarted. I was playing two RPGs, and the controls were very different. Like, the triggers were not... Right. You know, I always think the triggers should be 
the weapons and the and the um, the fighting controls, but they they aren't always. And I think Witcher is really bad for that. Oh, oh my god, that's this is so weird. Very weird. It's so weird. And so going back and forth really messes you up sometimes. So you have to relearn. Oh yeah, I have to push. Right. X, not B, and. getting harder <laughs> this no just just oh okay adapting <laughs> as quickly as before oh that is so crazy oh it doesn't last very long what's the point of that i don't know maybe you can go through <laughs> it really fast i guess if you're an expert at jumping those maybe you can go like jump 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 I hope silver <laughs> oh there's that frog dude is he supposed to be green? He looks very green, like he's supposed to be. Oh, you have to hit him a bunch of times. That's what his deal is. He takes a bunch of hits. It's Kev73 says, Witcher 2 controls are taking me some time getting used to. I haven't played Witcher 2. I've only played Witcher 3. Mm. One of my friends highly suggested Witcher. Oh, this guy takes a lot of hits. <gasps> oh, my goodness. I don't know what I was supposed to do there. Yeah, those guys. Turn. Yeah, sure. Bob, do you remember what color you thing. used for Bentley? In the $1, maybe the E dollars? I was just wondering as I fought against NT NTSC green hues. Oh, I have to hit the button. Uh, if you're able to make it to the hidden level, there are a lot of desert hot scenes there, so I wanted something spicy in Spanish. The Carmen Opera by Bizet served admirably well. Look for the Toreador song and the Carmen Overture, better known as the Bad News Bears theme. That's funny. Yeah. Oh. oh my goodness. I jumped right into him. I was trying to go that way, but I wasn't holding the button down. Slowly working my way through the series, it has a lot of other backlog to compete with, though. Uh, I have a lot of backlog. Yeah, we've got about hundred games to play <laughs> our backlog of purchased Tons. games Ugh. the zombies only register headshots oh that's why it was taking They're a zombies? while those green they dudes, look like gigantic slow cross. green dudes my dark this is terrible go ahead Every time it's like my brain has to re-register. Re what is oh. what is jump and what is shoot again? Grammar challenge. <laughs> oh, some colors that look nice on emulators ended up greenish on real hardware. Yeah. Oh, and this? Oh my god. Oh, so it has to be a headshot. Yeah. Interesting. Oh my god! There's a lot of green. Shouldn't be that way. Everything's a little green. Everything's gone green. Mm -hmm. be a little cautious <laughs> headshots well, nice. they, they got their brains hanging out is that what the pink thing is oh on top? maybe I, it brains. looks like again it looks like a hairstyle <laughs> <laughs> pink pompadour uh, pink pompadour or pink uh... oh god there we go zombies die They do, but it's because they're green. <laughs> Maybe they're not supposed to be green. I don't know. Uh, they're probably not supposed to be that green. <laughs> everything's a tinge of green here. True. Uh, skeleton. I hate those skeletons. Jump out of nowhere. Jump out of... Oh, jump God. Out of, uh, ooh, what is that? Oof, they ooh, take a, 750. Ooh. That was jumping fox kind of nice. character. Very yeah. cool. Then easy being green. 
Round eight. Level one. Almost made it to the end of level one. You should put on, um, after this, what it looks like in the emulator <laughs> to see if the colors are dramatically different. Uh, that sounds like work. Okay. <laughs> coyote. Oh. oh, it's a coyote. Okay. I'm going to jump over. Okay. He's in a bad spot. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh. God damn it. They avoid your shots. Mm -hmm. They did seem to avoid my shots, actually. It was a little, uh, a little devious. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, they're just falling. Too big of a pit for them. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god! It's a very furry looking coyote. <laughs> Adventure Island like, yeah. yeah. How many enemies does this game have? Well, they seem to be adding about one per mm -hmm. every level, level every couple levels. Couple of rounds. A nice, a nice way to introduce enemies. Yeah, slowly. Oh, I hate this guy. He's gonna get you. Oh, you're so close. Okay, good. It's in a good spot. What should I do? Oh, yes, I will do that. Your gem. Run. Oh, my Oh, how do I get that? Uh, oh, I think I missed a, the jump. a power Yeah, up. you did. You missed a honey. Damn it. Well, I missed a way to get up there, yeah, too. Yeah, I think so. Oh, God. Like Super Mario Brothers 1, you can't go back. <laughs> no. <gasps> what happened? I was pressing it, but oh, apparently was out. not the right way. You can't say, oh, damn it, that was the previous game. <laughs> I don't know what that is. What? No, it gives you an upgraded shoot. Shooting. Did it? I think so. didn't seem like any different oh, well. color. Hi, sir. I'll try it again and try not to die, but there's, like, bees up there. Uh, yeah, you got to get out of there quick, I guess. Yep. I think it, it's, it must be an upgrade. It so. seems like it, because there are things that now take multiple hits. Mm-hmm. So, I'm going to get it and get the hell out of there. Mm. There we go. Is oh. that maybe not? Maybe it's just points or... Ah, what are you doing? Ah! Two shots already on screen, I think. Oh, maybe you can only get two at a time. Do you want to go? Or no, no, you're, I, I, you're <laughs> done. It takes me time to get my brain back around, wrapped around the... Uh, I think it would be better with a little control. I don't know. Eh. I'd like to try it. Oh, the hat. At the beginning again. Where there's zombies and coyotes and no. crystal cra castles. No. No. no? Well, I didn't play the full game every single level, but I don't think so. I don't think there were. I think those are new. Is he gonna come back? Oh, look at what was that? fighting. He oh. was fighting? He like put out a claw. Oh really? Yeah. But none of these creatures seem to be able to go backwards except for the bees. So. Watch out. How do you, oh you go up and over. Yeah. Too... Oh no you could probably get up there. You could probably get yeah. up. No, no you're not going to do it. Okay. Oh. Too late. No, you no, can't get past it. I don't it think now. you can. Yes, you can. If you look, if that's you're... as high as I can jump. I don't know. That's I... it. That's you only it. you need just a little bit nope. of run. No, 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 no. Running does not. Yes, make it you... does. Look how much higher you just jumped. Okay. You need a little bit of run. There. Yeah. But you can do it from that side then. Yeah. Oh, no, no. You, you have to get chance. it perfectly. Yeah. Uh oh, the bees. No, you cannot. <laughs> you can run pretty. You can you can jump. Oh God. Captain Classic dope. <laughs> you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Proved you wrong. Yeah. So you do get a little bit more height with you just do. a tiny run. You That's just need a you just need a Oh, it's daylight. Daytime oh, it's again. Getting better. Maybe all the um 
zombies are gone now. Ah, I oh. wonder if that's how, no. No. Skeletons still are lots like. Of, still lots of skeletons. Skeletons are good any time of the day. These guys though. <laughs> I think this looks like an end. This looks like a Super Mario Brothers end, doesn't it? Does. It does. I think I'm gonna jump. No, oh god, boss. What is she what are they gonna do? I'm gonna shoot. I don't think I'm hitting it. I'm hitting it, but ah! oh. <gasps> Damn oh, it! No. I think you have to hit in the back, for sure. Am I at the boss? No. Uh, work my way back to the boss. How far back am I? Not far, because oh. you're at the light blue. Okay. All right. Mm, a, little, a little bit back. Uh, oh yeah. I think I need that because I don't. I don't know. Because of. Um, yep. There you go. You get better shot. Oh my God! Two of them. Two. Punishment for getting that. We that doesn't help. <gasps> what is so you that? hadn't engaged it yet because you hadn't gotten close enough to oh. it. Oh my goodness! You have to hit her eight or sixteen times <laughs> in a specific spot. I hit her a lot. Or just in general. I hit her a lot. Foot. Oh my god! They does she went backwards! She does back up. That's the first time I've seen that character back up. What? <laughs> you might as well restart. <laughs> yes. I think so. Rage reset. Rage continue. <laughs> this is not a reset. Don't want to reset. I'll lose my continue. Yes. God damn it! What the, <laughs> the hell? Each round she gets more difficult. Oh, so it's the same gotcha. boss each time? And just a little bit different patterns? Yeah. Terrible. I think I'll die. It's my last life. And I haven't really, I haven't gone anywhere yet. Oh, I think I'll fall down the pit and I'll be faster. <laughs> uh, we won't be finishing this game today, but I think we should finish this game at some I point. I think we should finish this round. Yes, I think we should finish this game. How many rounds are there, I wonder? Uh, eight. Eight? Six, six or eight? Oh my gosh, six. and we're on one? <laughs> Yikes. Or levels, I should say. Levels. We're on level one. So there are eight levels? Or eight rounds. Eight levels. Okay, I won't go too far. No. Okay, so it's already now you're done. Don't it go doesn't over last there. very long. No. Then you can jump up and get that pink thing. I, I can see him. I can see him. Watch. He will cut through it in one second. Okay, I have to jump really far because I missed it, right? Yeah. There we go. Good job. Oh, it is pink. Does it do more damage? Yes. Oh, it does. Oh, that'll be very <gasps> good. That's, That's exactly good. what I need. So, 8 or 16 is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Possibly. Because... If you don't have it, it will be eight. Uh, I mean, 16. So remember, he's, the, she's going to run right for you the moment. So don't jump into her. Because <laughs> last time I jumped into her. Yes. And that was a big mistake. Do you want the green one? Yeah. It's probably even more of an upgrade. Oh, watch out. Or whatever it is. I don't know.
Okay, not approach. gonna do a Super Mario yeah. jump into the Just flag. Just approach slowly. Die, celery, die. Die, celery. <gasps> How what? do you even dodge that? You have to run and jump over her, I guess. Immediately. Oh my gosh. Atari, do you know? Do you know how to dodge her? Get that celery. Yeah, I'm gonna get off the screen. Yes, yes, Licky Lickies. Okay, so I'm just gonna anticipate she's gonna just go for it and just ram me immediately. There she is. <gasps> what in the hell? <laughs> what in the hell? Oh, stay back on the left side of the screen when you encounter her. Oh my god. So run backwards because she won't hit, go right to the edge? Is oh. that the idea? I don't know. Did she try go that. right to the edge? I'll try that. She seemed like she went right to the edge. It's nice that the um, continue point is so that you can get this These upgrade. Things. Yeah. For whatever good that is. I haven't even hit her. Uh, seems... One time I hit her like ten Watch times. Out. No, I have to do that. Yeah, but you're not running. You're just like... Left side of the screen. Okay, so okay. stay she on the She doesn't go all the way to the left. So, oh. so encounter her and then run back or jump back. No, she hasn't shown up yet. So the logs have to go off the screen? Ah! <laughs> scaredy bear. I'm a very scaredy bear. Oh, okay. This seems like cheating. <laughs> Oh, uh, this is super cheaty. Unless she shoots. Which she sh could. If she's you have like, to get her mouth? If she's like a Nintendo character. Um, and after you hit her a number of times. You have to shoot it in her mouth. My energy is going down. Mm. Mm. Maybe you have to run for it and run back. She doesn't shoot yet. Yet? Yay! Woohoo! Good job. Well, <laughs> I'd Level say okay two. job. Bees in the sky instead of bees in the trees. Bees in the trees. Beautiful. Yeah, it does look really nice. Oh, so many bees! That were about 32 hits. 32 hits? Huh. Oh I Probably not every single one counted, I'm gonna guess. Yeah. So also the flowers. Da. And something down there. Yeah, should I get it? Probably. Oh, Under Bear in Monster Land. Oh, see oh. that? <laughs> The claws yes, yes. came out. The claws came out. Got an angry cat. Angry kitty. <gasps> My head. Wonder Bear in Monsterland. Yeah. Um. So we made it to this. Yes. <laughs> um. I do want to do a game, a show where it's this game only. Yeah, it's make pretty it right long to game. the end. Yeah, you hit level two, which is good. So. We know it's, uh, we're able. Yes. <laughs> Good night, Carl G. Good night, Carl G. We have one more game tonight. Um, it's Edtris, the very first homebrew ever made. And it is for a high score challenge. And I will explain that uh, we're not going to really take part in it. We are, but no? we aren't. Um, so, Crystal Castles. Oh, my God. Amazing. Beautiful. Excellent. It's right up my yes. alley. I love it. I love platformers. And this one is astoundingly good. Yeah. It's really, really, really good. So let's switch back to the 2600. Thank you, Bob, for making that. 
Such a great game. So, um, this version, the one that is on cartridge mm. and the one that's put out, doesn't work well with modern consoles. Mm. I'll show you. <laughs> Flashes for a second, right? Oh, you didn't see it. Anyway, yeah, I saw the. Oh, these saw guys me. didn't see it. Yeah. Yeah. Try it again. Um, because back then <laughs> things weren't as refined. <laughs> ah, gotcha. Oops, wrong one. Um, there you'll see yeah. for like a millisecond. Yeah. Because <laughs> it because the line count is like way out of spec, way out of spec. But somebody um who did this? Oh not long enough but i will tell you who it is updated it in 2011 excellent so that it has proper line count that's mm. and they changed it so you can turn off the music as nice. well oh okay oh, no. it's fairly repetitive yeah um so who did this uh nuki shay said here's a quick hack that assigns the left difficulty switch to toggle the music the scan line count is also corrected to 262 Although it'll still currently jump when switching kernels or resetting the game. There's mm. still a little bit of jumping. The checksum routine is removed, so it should run on anything. Mm. Okay, so I'm going to, I guess, play it first. Yes. Because you've got a cat. I've got a little fluffy. Um, so this is for uh, the high score. What is it called? There's like three different high score challenges. Mm. Um, high score showdown, which is a Facebook group this runs till may 8th uh it's on game bb which we're on uh game nine hmm. game nine so you can set the level yep it gets it's very fast starting on game nine and i have to press reset i believe to start it uh winner is at a thousand lines and the okay. lines are at the bottom the points are at the top um, it scrolls over to zero, zero, zero okay. again. Um, the high scores right now, well, the, uh, one person has actually surpassed it, Patrick Gravel. Okay. A thousand and one lines, and he gave up. Um, and you'll see why in a second. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me start. Nope. Okay. Oh, it's, to it's very loud. Can you turn down? Quick, hold this. Oh, not... Well, that's very loud for them too. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Luckily, the highest level in this is not that hard. Not that hard. Is this the highest level? Nine? I believe, yeah. It's not that fast. Mm. It's still a little loud on our TV. Can turn down just a little bit. Um, so this game does not reward you for Tetrises. Okay, it's so it's straight just straight up lines. lines. So really, you want to keep it as low as possible at mm. all points. Yeah, you're, there's no point in building them up. No, don't get anything bonus for it. Um, really good uh, game for a first homebrew. <laughs> first ever 2600 homebrew. Yeah. Um, was started in 94 and was released in 95. He chose. Who? What game <laughs> could this possibly be? Yeah. Tetrominoes. Tetrominoes. So I've got 11 lines. Mm -hmm. And I believe he said it would take an hour and a half. Oh, to get to a thousand? Yeah. Because they fall at a constant speed. Right? You can't, you can't speed them up. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess you can pull, make it pull down. That would speed up the game. That makes sense. Okay. So your score is every piece. Oh no. The score is at the top. Yeah. And 
you get a point for every piece as well. Yeah, as well as the line. As well as the line. Excuse me. Oh, little joke there. I gotta go. Because <laughs> everybody in the, yeah, in the contest is like, oh, I played it till blah, and then I gave up. Yeah, because it just takes so long. Like, they didn't even, um, it's not, like, it they stopped look playing. particularly hard, and I don't know what you, like, it doesn't seem that crazy. Oh, my oh, God. Unless you do some stuff like that. Just for stupidity. Yeah, uh. about doing it, because this is as fast as it goes. But, it's the first homebrew, and I thought, what better way to play it than as part of the contest, um, I score. I do have some information about it, but obviously I cannot read that or do anything while I'm playing this, so. Just set a uh, goal of something to get to, and then stop there. Okay. How about a score of a thousand? Uh, yeah, that seems somewhat reasonable. See how many how many lines you get at a score of a thousand. Uh, I don't know if I think it just corresponds one I'm to sure one. I'm sure it probably does. <laughs> well, no, I mean if you because you get yeah, a score for a, br a brick. You could say how many... Well, I guess it could be different, but depending on how you fit it together, but it'll even out over time. It will even out over time, right. I don't know if it'd make a substantial difference, so... Anyway, get to a thousand, then I'll go. Okay. And then I can read all the facts that I have dug up about this game. I suppose if you've made... Be it to a thousand with more lines, you did it in less, less bricks. Yes. Yes, but, but probably subtly so. There's also, also possibly a random element to it of which bricks it, it gives you. No, but that's, but, right. yeah, but. Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, I'm just saying if you, if you get more levels and less points, you've gotten more lines rather than more bricks, but. Uh, because ev no, it, it does, still doesn't make sense because every piece is made up of four squares. Yeah, um, but you're, they're they're not necessarily lined up to create a line. But it's gonna even out. Uh, not completely, but not by a lot, not by a substantial amount. So mm. no one's, but Just people aren't perfect, is what I'm saying. Like playing, but it, eventually they will. They'll get it down to like something like this. No, a you couple could lines. die at the top, or you could fill a screen and never get there. Well, I'm talking about not dying, playing and not dying, and just getting to whatever score. Yeah, no, I'm just saying if we play to a thousand points, there so you there you go. So you had 58 lines, got you to a thousand points. Right. Okay, so we'll we'll test out that theory. Sure. It's my turn. If somebody could play, <laughs> type in 58 lines. <laughs> no, no, lines. no, it's it's fine. I don't think I'd make that much difference. Uh, should I just die then? Because yeah. I have to show up a death screen. Death screen! Death screen, 60, 60 lines. But it is it is very nice. It is a very nice version of Tetris. Yeah. Are you ready? What does what? Uh, button rotates, yep. down, pulls it down, left, And that's right. it. Yeah, there's no up. Oh, good night, VHZC. Thanks good for night. hanging out and thanks for making your awesome, awesome games that you do. Um, the conversion to 7800 is super good. Really great job. Um, so, from Brian Mathern's homebrew list, he says, Entrus 2600 was the second homebrew for the Atari VCS and the first game. 
first one was a music creation. Well, it played notes. And it's made by the same person, actually. Um, this made by uh, Ed Fettermeyer. And he made Edtris and Sound X, which just played you know, all the tones of the 2600 Tia. Um, numbered with a ra blue round sticker on the back of the cart. Two, rom two ROMs floating around the internet, a 94 and a 95 version, with and without music and colored blocks. Um, the uh, internal game also had the serial number on the opening screen, so each copy was unique. So you have a number on the screen, and I did have a version of that, but it didn't actually run, because it also had some checksum it did with, I'm guessing, hardware. Definitely seeing the screen shake you were talking about. Yes. Um, every once in a while it goes bleh, bleh. Because <laughs> that's what, it's straying from the proper number of, oh my goodness, what is happening? Terrible. Are you going to make it to a thousand? Ah! <laughs> nope. <laughs> um, uh, Color Paper Manual also came with this release. It's undetermined how many LE versions were actually made. So there was a limited run of this. Ah, ha, ha. Oh my god. It's the controls I'm, I'm having trouble with. I can't tell. There you go. I can't line it up very well with my vision. <laughs> Apparently. Uh, and then there's an unlimited oh, version goodness. made. Oh, what's the point? You could rescue it. You have tons of time. They drop oh, so slow. so bad. in those gaps. You're almost to a line there. There you go. Terrible. You've got a first I, 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 it doesn't first. help if I'm not lining it up properly. So. Uh, usually when you clear lines, probably taking too long to shift lines down. Mm. It's good music, too. Like really good music. Oh, still good. Still good. You're good. Kind of. <laughs> You'll do it. You'll make it. There, that's what you needed. Ah, oh, nope. no. It's not when you can't get there. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> ah, ha, 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 give up. No. <laughs> Okay, start Not over even and, close. and... Can I switch spots with you? Oh, our names will be wrong. That's fine. <laughs> I guess this is one of those games where you have to look at it straight on. Yeah. Ready? Uh, try it again. Ready? Yep. Yeah. Actually, don't want to turn off the music. It's pretty good. I like the music. I can see after two hours being a little annoyed with it. Um, it's hard to make music that you can listen to for two hours that has like a loop of 20 seconds. So uh, tips from Nathan Strum from 2006 when it was played as part of the High Score Club. Season four, uh, week 32. You don't, any, you don't get any points for combos, mm. taking out several rows at once, so focus on just eliminating them one row at a time. If you get a piece that doesn't fit, minimize the damage by leaving the gaps on as low on the screen as possible. If you have to leave a gap, don't worry about it. Focus on just keeping the next row clear and eventually you'll work your way back down to it. If you can keep the board clear by the time you hit level nine, you can basically play forever since it never gets any faster, mm -hmm. unless you start falling asleep. <laughs> if you make a mistake, don't try and fix it. Just focus on clearing one row at a time. If you try and fix it, you'll make more mistakes and that will compound the problem. In the earlier rounds, use the joystick to drop the pieces faster, so you get used to playing at a faster pace. Of course, this is the fastest pace right now. It's possible. Mm -hmm. um, and the highest score at that point was 8,220 by Atari 2600 Land. And the second score is 6,900 by Nathan Strong. Um, and the high score so far on this game is 17,000 points, 17,522. I have no recollection of writing that, but it sounds like me. Nathan Strong says. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like your wording. <laughs> like, yeah, that's my writing style. <laughs> so 
somebody who's going into your account, hacking the matrix and going back to 2006 and posting tips that sound like your new writing style. <laughs> <laughs> you got second in that, uh, in that competition. Um, so this is from Ed Fettermeyer's website uh, from 99. By day, I'm a mild-mannered software engineer. I write software for the 3Com, formerly known as US Robotics, Edge Server product. This is like, this is like from archive.org. It's really old. <laughs> this is a Windows NT box that sits in our total control chassis and provides remote access servers services to dial-in users. Previously, I worked at the Net Server product, which is used a lot by internet service providers, ISPs. In fact, if you're using a dial-up telephone connection to access the internet, it's entirely possible that you're going through the product I work on. I also worked on the successor to the net server called HyperArc, which can service up to 450 calls in a single chassis. Fun stuff. I graduated from IIT with a BS in computer science. I only have a few more credit hours left to complete my MS oh, in my computer Lord. science. What is happening? <laughs> Craziness. Not even halfway there. Get your act together. <laughs> <laughs> you played Tetris before. Oh, I have. This is not even like a fast level. Oh, I know. <laughs> uh, I wrote two Atari 2600 cartridges that are currently for sale. Tetris 2600 is a Tetris-like game. I'm sure I don't. I'm sure I don't need to explain what this game is all about to you. SoundX is a sound demo program, which shows the Atari 2600 sound registers on the screen and allows you to change them using joystick controllers. You can recreate some of the sound effects found in other Atari games. And that's all the info I have. Oh, thank you, ArenaFoot. That is the link. And, that's, and I found that through your spreadsheet. So thank you very much. It is a wealth of knowledge, especially for really old games that may not even be part of like the Atari age forums. Like this one from 95. Um, so it's very hard to find information on like pre-2000 homebrews. So having a spreadsheet like that is super helpful. <laughs> Very happy chirpy music. It is. I like it. And it, it is one of those tunes that can that, that repeats well and uh, isn't too annoying. <laughs> I'm sure if you played it for an hour. Yeah, it'd be you're like ready, uh, you're ready be, to shut it off by then. It, you, well, you'd either tune it out completely or you'd shut it off mm -hmm. which this version you can shut off um, and I mean if I wanted to they they made it in the game or the contest the first person to a thousand lines wins because they knew that somebody could play this forever mm. so like oh, whoever dedicates the time and this is the second to last day. Somebody's already gone a thousand lines. Oh, yeah. Oh, check page 60 of volume one for uh, Edris, 2600 of my book. See, I should be checking these for um, the older ones, because he has a lot of older games. So there might be some more info that I didn't find. Is the author still around in the homebrew scene? No. If you go to the forum, somebody asked like 10 years ago if he was still around. And somebody somebody said, no. It's gone. Disappeared. But I mean, if you looked hard enough, you'd think you'd be able to find him. Like Ed Fettermeyer. Doesn't seem like a, a common name. 928. Come on. <laughs> You're so close.
What? I give up. What do you know? You're I like 50 away. <laughs> what are you doing? What, do you mean, what am I doing? There we go. All done. 53. <laughs> So I got 58 lions. Yeah. And I was at a thousand. 43 away. Yeah. See, but you're... I can try again. Yes, please. <laughs> We're trying to do an experiment here. Yeah, it's not working. And succeed in this experiment. You have to actually make it <laughs> to a thousand points. The one that started it all, Ed Fettermeyer, should be thanked for jump-starting the 2600 programming craze. Although Ed did release SoundX, a sound generating program before Ed Ed Edtris 2600. So this is in volume one of uh, Brian Mathen's book, Arena Foot, who's in the chat. Well, I uh, Nathan Strum says, I was going to compare the various 2600 clones, but never got around to it. There's Cubus, 2600 Tris, Zed Blocks, Cheddary 26, Tetris 26, which is a tech demo. Did I do a Tetris off one episode? I, don't think I so. swear I did. Because I, I played Cheddary, which I'm pronouncing wrong. Yeah. I know. I you did play it. that, yeah. And I swear, maybe I didn't play all the Tetris, but I'm planning on getting a, a physical copy of Cheddary. Um, so maybe I'll do it then. So that's my next order. What is going on? Um, the latter was the first game to be released in the classic system in the modern era. He could have picked a better game to clone than Alexei Pezhipnov's classic. Pezhipnov's. Yeah. Tetris, as Tetris lends itself very nicely to the limit 2600 graphics. For the two of you who have never played Tetris, oh your God. goal is to place falling pieces into the horizontal solid rows at the bottom of the screen. 130. With the game ending when pieces become fragmented and pile up to the top of the screen, Etrus features good sound effects, nine levels of speed, a music soundtrack that speeds up with the game, and a color-changing bricks. The harder the game gets, the different col the colors are. The game also features a title screen where your personal serial number appears. This one has been stripped of. Uh, Edris 2600 is a 99 f 1995 release programmed by Ed Fettermeyer. The label artwork is a basic dot matrix label with a picture of Tetris puzzle pieces in the upper left corner, an hourglass in the upper right, an Atari Fuji logo in the lower left, and a cartoon headshot of Randy Critchfield of Hoser Video Games in the lower right corner. Cartridges are manufactured and sold by Hoser Video Games for $11 each. The first batch of these cartridges had a number on a round blue sticker, which was on the back side of the cartridge. As of this writing, the ROM is available on Atari Age and on multiple other websites online. Number of players, one. Controller joystick, 2K game. Cheatery. Cheatery? Chattery. 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 That's it. <laughs> There's also the Game Boy Edition, yes. I remember playing those during one episode, really early episode. I just checked. The new cliche made a hack of this where the difficulty switch toggles the music on and off. Yes, that is the one we are playing. Mm. Because he also fixed the line count because none of the other ones work on a non-CRT. Because the line counts are nuts. They're like super high. 278 lines or something. And then it goes to a... Or 277. It's not an even number either, which is not always good. Um, the gameplay is barely... You must have changed the colors of the bricks too. Well, we're playing on the highest level. <laughs> I need Tetris pack practice. I do. It's... Uh... Oh, you gave up again? No, can I... Do you, is there another controller? Uh, you want... Because uh, I hit over... I hit to the side one and it goes over two all the time. What kind of controller do you want? I have uh, all of them. Whatever you have. <laughs> whatever you, you want have. a clicky one? Not an arcade controller. A clicky? Clicky one? <laughs> Not an arcade controller. <laughs> I know. You want, uh... Genesis controller? Yeah. That would be better. Hey. I don't know if pulling this out is bad or not. <laughs> I think they said the Atari box is bad for pulling 
Oh, yeah. Ready? Original joystick. Eh, I don't like those at all. I do not like it's the original really joysticks. Wow, maybe it's just me. <laughs> I did fine. Did like go one, two. I'd. Ha, I won't make past three lines with that. Oh, people are. Uh, I like this less. <laughs> people think this is going to be much worse. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, you do seem to be gliding a bit. You glide, but you glide with the other one too. I guess if you know the timing, like I you hold it like for it shifts just a over little a bit. Lot. Oh, good night, Esther Ramirez. It's even worse. It's even worse. <laughs> it is even worse. Oh, here's the scoring: one point for each brick positioned. Okay, yeah. Uh, Fifteen points for clearing a row. The game will go to the next level and speed up after each set of eight lines is completed, up to level nine. Uh, so. It'd be 8, 8, 64. So after 64 lines, it'd be the level 9, which you're on. Before the hand cramps start. Uh, this is pretty really? normal control. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe they're talking about the original joystick, not that joystick. Yeah. Oh, the original joystick gave me hand cramps. That is for sure. Uh, strategy. It's oh, best to... Gosh. It's better to try to keep the... Place pieces horizontally than to create columns. Keep the wall as low as possible, yeah, because you don't get bonuses. When you have to leave a hole in Edgers 2600 somewhere as an overhang, you can just then slide the next piece just under it. Just push and hold left and right on the joystick before that hole, and the piece will slide in. Watch the preview of the next piece. When you know where to put the next block, the game is getting easier, and then you can place the actual piece considering the upcoming piece position. Piece, piece, piece. Uh, for being the very first ever homebrew game for the Atari 2600, Edris 2600 has very similar graphics to the original Tetris game, and gameplay is exact also. That is his write-up. I skipped on how to use the joystick because that's... I already said that. <laughs> <laughs> left, left, it's, right, it's right, self down, drop, button, rotate, in one direction only, though. Some... <sighs> See, it doubles over all the time and it must just be me because i it was worse with the arcade controller you just have to be sensitive and get used no, to it's 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 not it's how long so, you hold it down for it's so crazy i have to go click click so i can't i can't actually turn it quickly what are you that doing? was my fault but <laughs> twice again this is just really i'm just i'm annoyed with it i am like i don't know how you were playing it so well because i just feel like it skill. Pure, pure skill but are you just very give it to me, no, give it to me. Give it to me. Okay. but like i play it i play it on a keyboard all the time and it's like click click it click it's the... very it's very specific and sensitive so you can go one two three and it goes one two three but i find oh my god playing with Playing this with the arcade, worse. no, but the arcade stick's bad too. You click over one, and it oh, it goes worse. over like twice. But I find that's the same. I don't see why how that's any different. Uh, it can be. Uh, how sensitive the things are. Yeah. How, how much bounce there is. Because you play it on a keyboard, oh, and it goes left and right and up, you know, very very specifically to the number of presses you do. Yeah. Whereas this, I'm hitting it once and it's going over twice, and I'm just getting frustrated with it. So. <laughs> it is frustrating because I'm yeah. I'm not comfortable with you should it. Should write the author. Yeah. <laughs> Tell him to redo his game. I don't think it's his game. I think it's just the controls. No, it's his game. Because you can have debounce where it and pausing after you press the button and how long before it moves it over to the See, next. See, you piece. even did it too. You no, went over too far. No, this is very sensitive. I'm getting used to it now, but uh, yeah. it's very very sensitive. But you have to be like. Barely touching it. Yep. See, I moved twice. Yeah. Yep. Just a... Good oh, night. Everybody's piecing it. <laughs> it's Tetris! Yay. Okay, we're done. Because I've done what I wanted to do. Yep. Hey, get, get over. I need access to my <laughs> computer. Um, so that is it for tonight. After that music, too. Oh.
It is repetitive. Uh, can I have this back? Oh. Okay. Mm. Today we played three games. Fun games. Mm -hmm. Slide Boy Maze Land. Awesome. VHZC does it again. Great translation from his 2600 game mm. to 7800. Great graphics update. Mm. Feels the same. Plays the same. Similar type obstacles. Mm. Um, and I don't know if he had that speed run option in the other game. I don't remember that. He probably will add it into the other game. In the 2600 version. Do you remember that countdown where you have to do all the mazes? Mm. Maybe mm -hmm. he did have it. Well, thank you, Dan. Um, awesome game. 100%. Download it. Oh. Play it. It's great. See if you can make it great to the end. Sprites and characters. We'll try it. and make it to the end the yeah. next time. Yeah. His games are very challenging. I find I make them... I make it to 90% usually mm. in his games. And then I die. Some of them I've been able to finish. Mm. But... They're very challenging. Uh, Crystal Quest, featuring Bentley Bear. We will come back to this. This is one of those games that we have to dedicate a whole show to. To do all mm -hmm. six levels. 40 worlds. So, five levels. And oh yeah, there's five levels and a hidden sixth world. Mm, okay. Somewhere. We'll find the sixth one. Yeah. <laughs> Continue option, but use it wisely. Ooh. Does that mean it runs out? So. Um, anyway, uh, awesome game. Uh, we'll come back to that. I'll schedule it. We'll uh, play a long play. Long play. Yeah. People will not watch because they'll be <laughs> like, be we don't want to watch this two hour, <laughs> three hours in one game. We've played this game before. <laughs> um, oh, we didn't even go through the manual with all the enemies. We'll do that in the long play. Mm. Because I, I was playing it the whole time. That's why. And I didn't hand this to you. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> no wonder Crystal Quest ROM has so many K. Mm -hmm. It is big. Just got here. What did I miss? <laughs> Everything. You're lying. You're probably lurking. Um, it is two and a half hours in and you missed the whole thing. <laughs> Except for us reading your names. <laughs> and then we played Edtris. Uh, a very good first homebrew mm -hmm. for the 2600 amazing yeah great music yeah um controls are touch sensitive that would be the They're only just, complaint they slide back and forth yeah yeah that'd be the only complaint uh yeah. it probably doesn't get fast enough for to advanced really... tetris players yeah. yeah like level nine i could definitely go forever yeah on that uh -huh. mstk3 mst3k telethon tonight uh yeah. and, and studying, studying for finals for final. come on get your priorities straight <laughs> This show first, them at MST3K, then finals. <laughs> because if you don't know your stuff by now, it's too late. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, uh, good good first homebrew. Like, amazing yeah. for somebody yeah. who... Beautiful Tetris game. Yeah. yeah. And only one, one video stream at a time. <laughs> when you need an extra computer. Or set them both down to 480p. Um, so yeah, great games tonight. Mm -hmm. Always fun to check out games we have not played. Uh, it's a, it was a seven eight hundred day, but sometimes I have to, you know, sneak twenty six hundred games in or seven eight hundred games in on a twenty six hundred day because of timing. Um, so what is coming up for the show? Next episode should be a twenty six hundred day, but if We'll see uh, how that works out. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yes, it is a 2600 day. I already have two scheduled. We're going to play Cannon Head Clash. Oh, excellent, yeah. Uh, for the 2021 Harmony Games. I may actually play that early. Ooh, actually, I have to look that up. Because it's the first person to submit a perfect game. Oh. And... When does this start? Hello, Atari. Are you back? This round starts on May 6th at oh. noon. Oh, no, that's Robot City. I went to the wrong one. So that one has already started. Tomorrow, Dan ABC says. Well, okay. The other one you need to update the date for, Robot City. We'll be playing that as well. Okay. Um, so Cannonhead Clash, May 8th. 
at noon. So that's tomorrow. May 8th, they both start. Noon Central. Mm. So I will be playing that at noon Central tomorrow. Ooh, can I? What time is noon Central? Is that two? Uh, Mountain Central, right? So that's two hours back. It's 10 a.m. I get my hair cut. For one hour. At 12.30. Is Mountain... Is Mountain one hour Mountain's away from Alberta. Pacific? Pacific, Mountain, Central, Eastern. Yeah, so Mountain would be one hour away, wouldn't it? It's Central time. Oh, Central. Sorry, I thought you said Mountain. So New yes, Central. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, fair enough, yeah. Oh, we found Ed Fettermeyer of Etris. Currently wet, works for NetherRealm. Makes games. Hmm. Oh, wow. What is NetherRealm? Let's see. Nether Realm is a realm in the Mortal Kombat series. Okay, studios. There we go. Is uh, uh, an American video game developer based in Chicago, owned by Warner Brothers. Oh, nice. Led by video game industry veteran and Mortal Kombat co creator Ed Boon. Yeah. Uh, so, what games have they made recently? Mortal Kombat 11, Injustice 2, WWE Mortals, Mortal Kombat 10. Pretty big. Batman Arkham, Arkham Origins, Origins for that's... Android and iOS. And, and Injustice Gods. Yeah, I mean, they're all known. big name games. Yep, yep. His history mm -hmm. is on LinkedIn. Uh, okay. Uh, so you need to tell him to fix his line count. <laughs> <laughs> Just, kidding. <laughs> Just kidding. Get him for the show. <laughs> well, he doesn't make homebrew anymore. No. So, yeah. he's, he's busy making uh, other video games. That's so. right. <laughs> I'll get them on the show under the guise of, let's talk about... Oh, wait, they haven't made a game for a while. Maybe they're working on a big one. Yeah, they could be. Um, 2019. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Well, yeah. come on, 1995. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, so anyway. Yeah, I'll be playing that at 10 a.m. Okay. Submitting a score. Mm -hmm. I guess you could play it. How do you, how do you prove that I didn't play, didn't play it like tonight? Uh, I guess it's all on our system. But anyway, I'll be playing that as new at uh, 10 a.m. tomorrow. Yes. I'll be home. Yep, you'll be home. I'll be yep. upstairs. Exercising. Yep. Yep. Exercising. Mm -hmm. um, and then we're also going to be playing Plaque Attack for a patch. Mm, okay. Good luck to me for that. Good luck. It's a hard game. I'm trying to remember the gameplay of that. Teeth on the top, teeth on the bottom, your toothpaste, you're shooting at various food items coming to attack your teeth. Okay, yeah. And to rot them out. Yeah, okay. It looks like it would be a paddle game, but it's not. Yeah. Like, I'm sure you could jump back into 2600 programming yeah, as, as a, a hobby. Yeah. As a hobby. Uh, if he has time, <laughs> he could. I mean, he is the uh, grandfather of homebrew. <laughs> um, and then we'll probably add a, one or two more games in there. Because Cannon Head Clash is going to be fast. Plaque Attack is going to be... Who knows? Might be really long. Um, so we'll see what is on board for uh, 2600. And then the next uh, Friday, we're going to be playing Atlas for the uh, 7800. Atlas. What is Atlas? Anyway... Oh, it's a collection of mini games. Cool. Um, and then uh, Robot City on the 18th for the Harmony Games. Mm -hmm. That's going to be torturous. That's a hard, hard game. Very challenging. Mm -hmm. I think it's like game four. I can't remember what he what he's going to do for that. He needs to update this. Uh, yes, playing level four. Okay. Where they can revive each other. Oh, yeah. That's tough. It's a good game, though. I like that So game. good. Oh. And it's random. Random was, levels. was revealed that it was random levels. That's so what you I was, could yeah. get a bad level. Oh, you could just with. have really bad luck. You could have bad luck the Terrible whole thing. Terrible luck. I'm getting a haircut on, look at this fluffiness, on <laughs> Saturday. So on Tuesday, you'll see this a lot shorter. Thank goodness. Plaque attack, 35,000. You? You're getting a haircut tomorrow? Yep. Noon 30. <laughs> Noon 30. Noon 30. Gotcha. Plaque attack, 35,000 points for the patch. Yeah, nice. That's what I'm aiming for. Excellent. Yeah, I got up to like, I did a practice and I think I got like 20,000, but it started getting fast. It's always like that with the Activision games. Yeah. It's like, 
oh, it's not too bad. And then it goes, boom. And you just hit a wall. What are you doing? Then you hit a wall. Tanya can cut your hair for free. She did he, during the beginning of, of last year. Of the pandemic, year. I did a little bit, yeah. And it was fine. It was fine. It yeah. was fine. Yeah. Uh, your hairdresser knew immediately I'd oh. cut it, though, which is well, hilarious. He knew by the length and the amount of time I hadn't seen him. <laughs> well, yeah, but he was like, mm, your, your wife cut this part of your well, head. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, but, yeah. But he said you did an okay job. Yeah, yeah. For a non hairdresser. <laughs> Um, all four uh, parts of the Atari Age Day are up on YouTube now. It took me a long time to process that nine hours. Yeah. Because I had to chop it up because there's because there was starts and stops mm. and stuff. So it was, took forever, but now it's up. Mm -hmm. um, and then two Fridays from now, it is the exclusive world premiere of <gasps> Champ <Something>. Games New <laughs> Homebrew. And we should have John Shampoo. And possibly Nathan Strum yeah. on the show. Are you going to be on, Nathan? Mm. Still deciding? Maybe? Yes? No? Because uh, he did the graphics for it. Oh, nice. Yep. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, my late guest, Donkey Kong 3. Yeah. Uh, it was 8 hours and 45 minutes, uh, Atari Age Day was. Cause, it's pretty because long. there was. It was pretty long. 20 ish games. Yep. And we interviewed everyone, and it was yeah. like 20 to 25 minutes a person. Yeah. Each game got Probably. a nice chunk of time, and I got to play a lot of games. It was really good. Yeah, so... I had to read some of the manuals, too, because I was like... Uh, what was it? Uh, was it oh, what's the cat one? Uh, Pit Cat. Pit Cat, yeah. Uh, and I'm like, I know you can go backwards, but I can't remember... Oh, scratching at that. I know. Um, I know you can go backwards, but oh, I can't remember how? what it is. So I had to look it up in the manual. I'm like, oh, yeah, select, oh. select, select. But um, yeah, it was our second yeah, longest stream. Oh yeah, right after the Stellathon. Yes, obviously. Um, yeah. But Al has said the next time he releases games, it won't be as, as big of a many. chunk. Yeah, okay. Because it build up a long time. I wouldn't yeah. mind doing it again. It was a lot of fun. Like I really enjoyed it. It'd be nice if it was a little bit shorter, but like maybe if it was a six, six hour six game. No, not even six. Um, like four to five maximum. Yeah. Like say we do six games. That, yeah, something like six that. Six or seven or even eight. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Atari age day. Yeah. But I don't know how it'll work out with the, like the retro expos and stuff <laughs> and the timing. <laughs> you might be able to walk when it's over. Yeah. I had trouble because... Yeah. I didn't get up because I had to stay. I even asked you. I said, like, "Do you want to? Do you want to get up and stretch your legs?" You're like, "I'm fine. But, but I'm fine." The... I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" <laughs> I got up a few times. I kind of walked around and uh -oh, got Charles some water. Wheeling. Uh oh, he's he's the he's the guy who's playing against me for the top spot. Oh yeah. In the homebrew games. Oh nice. Um, so one of us is going to submit a perfect score in Canada head Canada head clash immediately tomorrow. Yes. <laughs> Because the challenge is actually not that hard. Oh, to ha get get the yeah. get a perfect score against mm -hmm. a computer on level nine. Yep, I think you have me this time. Mm. Really? Okay. Because we are tied for top place. <laughs> I think you're second or third place. Um, for um, for the uh, harmony mm -hmm. games. Okay. Yep. Uh, I suck at both of these. Oh well, time to practice, I guess. Robot cities, challenging but yeah. fun. It would be better if Darcy and Erlen were around. Yeah. You guys could tag team. Yeah. True. I yeah. mean, I couldn't because I have to man everything. And well, yeah, but you don't have to be on have to screen do all the, the whole time necessarily. You can pass uh, the questions off. Uh, I always no. find that when we do when no. we do the awards too, you're like you insist on being on camera yeah. the whole time, and it's like yeah. you need to take a break sometime. You can nah. have two of us and no, announce the so. awards. Oh, look at you! I you see, just want to be in charge. I see some umming, umming, and awing happening pretty quick. <laughs> no, I'm just reading the script. So, yeah. what script? I don't have a script. It's you like have little, questions little to little ask. You ask questions. Yeah. So yeah, best. Be so uh, best. Play best of four wins against the computer random levels. Mm. Best play best of four wins against. I tune into the Darcy and Erlen show. <laughs> yeah, that'll be a good show. <laughs> and I'll let them at it one day. No instructions. Mm -hmm. Just let them go. Um, anyway, uh, secret new homebrew two Fridays from now, six p.m. Uh, John Champo will be on. Mm. Nathan Strom maybe audio. He says, which would be good. 
they can talk about the new game. So I think what we've done is boot up the game, oon all over it, because <laughs> it's going to be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Um, played a tiny bit, a then, bit, then get them on. Yeah. Um, and then they can talk about it, and then we played a bit more and, uh, yeah, mm. dive into the past of it, because mm. I'll quickly look it up while you're playing and see if it, if it was an arcade uh, port. We can take a look at arcade stuff like that. Um, I don't think I know what Nathan looks like. Does anybody? Mm. <laughs> Another mystery person, yeah. like B Blue Swimmer. Who <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> barely went on Atari Age Day. <laughs> mm, but you got him. <laughs> yep. He didn't give his real name. Didn't go video. Albert That's knows. Fine. Albert knows. Yeah, Albert always does. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he does. He knows everyone's real he name. He knows everyone. Knows, knows what, know what people look like. Yeah. Remember when Nathan goes to the uh, retro expos, he like just gives a little uh, thumbs up to Al, and Al goes, yep, yeah. I, know, I know who you are. <laughs> Won't reveal. Oh. <laughs> Nathan's just a Turing bot. Very convincing, especially his artwork. Yeah, and his, yeah. <laughs> and his graphics on games, a great Turing bot. Yeah. They've been um, working on that AI a long, yeah. long time. Fooled us. Hi, Great Cat. You're going to say goodbye. So thanks, everybody, for yes. tuning in. Uh, D Train 37, Thank Cafe you. Man 2D. Thank you again. Uh, for Maggie Vogel. The, uh, Maggie Vogel for the wonderful cord wraps. Yeah, they're great. So cute. Love them. We will put them to use. So cute. For something. Yes. Wrap something up in a wrap mm -hmm. a cat up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when they need to go to the vet. <laughs> yeah, they'd love that. <laughs> Slap bracelets. Slap go. Bracelet. <laughs> uh, Scott Lynx, RC70, D Train, Nathan Strum, Cafe 2D, Dan AVC, uh, Charles Wheeland, Rena Fight. Who else is hanging around? Vitoko. Mentioned Ground Trooper. Ground Trooper, nope. Nostalgic. Mike Saul. Mike Saul. Yeah. RC70. Wish there was uh, different colors. BHZC. BHZC with his new game, Pac Man, Man Plus. Plus. Thank you for making Crystal. Awesome, yep. Quest. Very cool. Four years ago. Uh, looking forward to playing it again. I'll have to put that in my uh, to finish list. Uh, ritual Objects. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a new name. It's Kev. Hey, Kev. Mm -hmm. And everybody else that was lurking. Keep those guesses coming. Maybe even one of them will be correct. Oh, the guess is yes. Make sure you keep guessing in the forums under the uh, Zero Page Homebrew Club mm -hmm. for what game it could be that we'll be revealing in two weeks. Mm. And hopefully it won't be a too hard of a puzzle to get into the, the locked game. Uh, remember last time? Actually, the first time was brutal. Or was it the second time? We were just like... The uh... second time was brutal. <laughs> brutal. We got there. No, but it took, so many it took hints. too long. It took too long to get there. That's the only yeah. thing. But yeah. Uh, so we will see you on yeah. Tuesday for a 2600 day. Mm -hmm. So thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye. bye. Say bye, Atari. Say bye in the cat cam. Yes. Bye bye. We're scaling back the unlock process a little. <laughs> <laughs>